How do we start the boogie stuff? Let's let's get let's get ready. Let's get this all set up. It's a lot to go through. We're going to be watching a lot of streams, video segments, going over some screen caps because there's been some big developments. Uh, for those unaware, I got called on to uh, the Lol Cow podcast with Keemstar, Tommy C, Wings, and Boogie, um, just a day or so ago, because uh, Boogie apparently got his ass slapped around by Destiny, who had done some research about his claims of having cancer and was incredulous, believing that Boogie had made it up. And the next hour of my engagement on that stream was just baffling. Um, absolutely baffling to me. Uh, because you're going to find out as we go through this that Boogie was offered an enormous amount of money to basically verify his claims in a way that would have kept his privacy completely intact, and he refused to do it for no, seemingly no reason at all. It's very hard to figure out what the fuck's going on in his head. But what exactly happened with Boogie, right, at the tail end of the last thing? Because he was running a crypto scam. I mean, I, I did a stream on it. I, I laid into his ass about it. He was in my fucking chat, running his fucking mouth, saying that basically he bamboozled people and that he wasn't using it for cancer treatment or medical treatment. Instead, what Boogie was going to use that fucking money for was weight loss. And he was laughing about it. He thought it was funny. Apparently nobody else did. Because video after video after video after video all dropped talking about what a scumbag Boogie is. Talking about how the crypto scam worked, about what money he was getting for it, uh, blowing through his bullshit defenses where he tried to say things like, oh, well, if you, you know, he had 1,800 different uh, excuses. And if you watch that stream, we went through quite a few of them because he tried to use almost all of them on CoffeeZilla. Or as I like to call him, hashtag decaf liar. <laughs> but uh, he, he would cycle through them of why he wasn't guilty of anything and why people need to understand that he was so broke. Remember, he was so impoverished that he needed to do this. He needed the money. He was going to lose his house. He was going to lose, lose his, uh, you know, his livelihood. He'd be living in the street. Uh, his girl and him would have nothing. He was unrepentant about it because it was he was that desperate. That was the line he went with which is a sure far cry from how he behaved on the fucking stream with Keem and others. So all these videos come out. And the craziest thing, you know, Boogie had gone into this diatribe talking all this bullshit saying, I can't do a GoFundMe, I can't ask for money, because if I do something like that, people are going to treat me like shit. So what happens while he's whining, while he's sitting there crying like a bitch? Let me, let me show you a little bit of internet history here. Maybe you remember this guy. He used to do these videos where he'd take out ridiculous weapons and he'd chop through shit like soda bottles and water bottles. I'm talking like 15 years ago. This is 15, 16, 17 years ago. Like start a YouTube shit. Him with his giant katana and his daikatana axes and everything else. Just this big old fat dude slicing shit up in his driveway. Anyway, he disappears, drops off the face of the map. Hadn't had any activity on his YouTube page for like three years. Suddenly comes back and says, hey, um, here's the truth. My life has fallen apart. My aunt is sick and in rehab. My mother is dying. We lost our house or our apartment. Uh, we're low on money. I can't find a job to get us out of this motel we're living in. Uh, I need help. I don't know what to do. You know, I feel bad even asking for it, but I'm, I'm so fucked. I don't know what to do. And I know how heartless the Internet is. And, nobody, you know, we all like to fuck with people and laugh at people. But he put that video up, and within like 10 hours, 
the GoFundMe goal that he had set, he hit. Remember Boogie was saying he needed 10K? This guy hit 10K and then has gone over it on what he needed in 10 hours by just being honest about being in a bad situation and wanting to keep his family together and try to fix things. It's like, yep, I'm a fuck up. You know, yep, I'm looking for work. I'm doing the best I can. I'm trying to take care of both these elderly people. I don't want us to be homeless. Can somebody please help me? And they did. And it's a heartwarming story. And it's a great contrast to Boogie. Because there's Boogie crypto scamming his audience, robbing people, saying there's no way he can do it. Nobody's going to help him. And here's a dude who wasn't around for, what, three years, came back and said, guys, I'm, I'm in a, a bad spot. I need help. And his audience instantly helped him without hesitation. It's nothing but well wishes for this guy. You know, what the future holds, I don't know. But Boogie clearly saying that you can't do this and that it wouldn't work and that nobody would respond, that's untrue. This guy had like 40,000 subs. He wasn't active for three years. He came back, told his story, and he hit the goal in 10, 12 hours. You, on the other hand, millions of subs, hundreds of millions of views, always going on podcasts with other famous podcasters, have every opportunity to raise the money you need for your you know, uh, uh, dire needs. But no, it's easier to scam your audience. It's easier to fuck them over, right? And then pretend you didn't fuck anybody over. And if they got fucked over, they're too stupid and they deserved it. That's a big difference between two people. But it was a nice little nice little restoration of humanity. Made, made me feel all warm and fuzzy. Seeing a guy that chops Diet Coke bottles and half of katanas was able was able to uh, provide for his family. Wasn't in the street. You know, things worked out for him. Nice heartwarming little story. But of course, I guess Boogie wasn't happy enough with the idea that, you know, he had, <laughs> that he had just like, you know, fucking sunk his reputation. Like there's, there's a lot when it comes to Boogie. There, there's, there's a lot of shit that Boogie has done. And I'm going to link you at the end of the stream to resources, one in video format from a YouTuber and uh, one over on a forum that basically outlines everything. Cause there's no way I could ever coherently cover all of it, but it chronologically outlines a lot of shit. So whether you're a reader or you're somebody that likes to watch, you'll have full fucking access to this shit. But as for now, look at that. There's the old boogster trending once again, getting the attention of everybody, because of course, he had to go on to a Keemstar podcast and uh, just get his, his shit rocked. Destiny just rolled up on this guy and just fucked him. So let me get these, I'm going to get these clips set up. They're all, they're all four hours long. So I didn't, I didn't even try downloading these into OBS. We're just going to watch them raw. Get these all lined up, get these good to go. And start looking at this. Now, when I initially joined this podcast, I wasn't even aware of what was really going on. Somebody had just uh, came and said, DM me. I DM'd him and then he's like, uh, Boogie's lying about his cancer. And then other people started linking me to Destiny, just just bashing the shit out of him. Just bashing the shit out of him. So I think we'll start with uh, my appearance on Lolcow, and then we'll jump back to the Destiny stuff. And then we're going to talk on the mysterious uh, enigma that is Jackson Clark. Because apparently this is a person that haunts Boogie's fucking daily life. On top of that, CoffeeZilla decided to, just from the top ropes, just... Ugh, Shoulder, uh, not a shoulder, a uh, elbow drop right into his fucking fat little face. That's one for me and one for the hooker, right there, Bookster? One for me and one for my hooker. That's right, buddy. Just right off the top ropes. No mercy. No mercy for the Bookster. <laughs> Somebody chat, Destiny. Isn't that a girl's name? Oh, we're being mean today. Oh, I've got a, uh, oh, Jim. Jim, now, come on. Don't be, don't be cruel. <laughs> he made us look at Ralph. Oh, give me a kiss. All right, all right. Let's get this, let's get this, get this going here. Okay. I think this should be right. I'm just queuing up the time code. And we're going to watch together. Actually, let me make sure I've got everything right. <sighs> 
gonna need a nice strong drink. <laughs> you know, actually, even before I get into this, just to, I want to, you know, actually, let me really nail this home uh, to make Boogie look just fucking ridiculous. The crux of a lot of what you're about to watch really, really relies on one main thing, is that Boogie refuses, this is the hill he's going to die on, he refuses to show anyone anything related to his medical diagnosis. I get that. He's under no obligation to do it. Well, well until you see what they're offering him to do so. Uh, but he acts like it's a sacrosanct thing. I did this uh, when I was uh, I did the little Mersh stream. Where I showed my medical records and tests and stuff. But, you know, here's Boogie, again, playing the victim. And it's just going through all this shit. And I'd like you to know that, like, <laughs> just, just to highlight the difference between Boogie and I, I'm going to share a little. I'm going to share a little with you all. Here's the test result. <laughs> just to give you an idea of what I'm sitting here dealing with at the moment. Uh, hopefully this shows up on screen clear enough for you. Hopefully I can read this for you uh, nicely. You know, as Boogie sits here and does this woe is me bullshit, which really gets on my nerves uh, personally, because, you know, I'm actually going through the real thing. So, you know, ugh. but that date, you know, that's, uh, that's the eighth. So that's like four or five days back. What was their, what was their findings on that? That little x-ray from the fucking horrible chest pain. Oh, you know, no definitive acute rib fracture, just multiple subacute healing rate rib fractures, you know, involving the third, seventh, eighth, and ninth rib. Oh, and the additional subacute left rib fractures involving the fourth and fifth ribs. So boogie. As I was sitting there that day, listening to you cry about showing, one, one, medical records, and two, talk about how tragically sick you are, I have six broken ribs, you fat lying cunt. You deceptive, obese bear of a man. I was sitting there, and I'm sitting here now, all jacked up on goofballs, with six broken ribs. But do you see how easy that is? Oh, look, I took a screen cap, and I showed it. Now, you'll find out why that's so ironic for the bookster. Uh, because of what he was offered. I just did that for free. Wait till you hear what they offered him to do just what I just did. Wait till you fucking see. Wait till you fucking see what they offered him. And his bullshit excuse on why he wouldn't do that. So little Jimmy here, all wrapped up like a little Eskimo in his igloo of ice. Oh, I got that nice, uh, I got like 18 different fucking ice pads and lidocaine pads. <laughs> Uh, to try to tamp down on this nightmare. This boogie said, no, you don't know how tough I got it. There's a video of this dude mowing his lawn. He got paid 500 bucks to mow his lawn. And he does it. He goes like once or twice back and forth and sits down and says, I can't do it no more. Oh, my heart's going to explode. I can't do it no more. My heart, my precious fatty heart. 500 bucks to mow your lawn. Do you know my wife, Boogie, yells at me because I break ribs so much at this point. Like, I've got to, like, watch what I do. I can't bend or lift or do certain shit. But I can't get that mentality out of my head. Right? Like, I have that mentality. Guys know what I'm talking about. Any man in the audience knows what I'm talking about. That mentality of, like, oh, this thing's broken. I should fix it. This thing's dirty. I should clean it. This part of the yard needs to be attended to. It should be attended to. Like, it's in your head. You can't unfuck that and so what do i notice myself well, i'll rest reach out and grab that and up oh, fuck broke a rib i'll twist around and do this up oh, fuck i'm getting yelled at all the time for it because i'm too dumb to fucking stop whereas boogie once or twice back and forth across the yard and that's it he calls it that's too much for me my heart's gonna explode aren't you looking at my at my uh my oximeter aren't you looking at the blood pressure cuff that i've got around my arm don't you understand how hard i have it you know, hey, fun fact, Boogie, um, any physical activity will raise your blood pressure and heart rate. Doesn't You don't have to be sick for that. So taking your fucking blood pressure after you run your fat ass or back and forth in your, you know, like 100 degree heat backyard. Yeah, your heart rate's probably going to be up. Your blood pressure is probably going to be up. Doesn't mean your aorta is going to explode. It just means you've engaged in physical activity. You know, a little pro tip from Jim Jam. Jim Jam, the flim flam man. God, he's infuriating. Oof. I can already feel myself getting mad. Once we get into this, I'm going to start getting mad. Like, legitimately fucking angry. He did it to me last time. I was, oh, He got me heated last time. I know he's going to get me mad this time. You know, I went into this thing on the Low Call podcast, and I tried to play it very down the middle. I was like, you know what? Give me your side of the story. Tell me what's going on. Why won't you do this? Explain it to me. This doesn't make sense. 
but just any any overture of uh you know giving him any chance to redeem himself just fucking nothing so we're going to go through this we're going to look at the low call podcast we're going to look at what destiny said we're going to look at what coffeezilla said and then we're going to blues clues it chat we're going to figure out what the fuck is going on what is going on with boogie and his cancer because there's some interesting speculation going on um that kind of makes him look even shittier if that's even possible is it possible i don't know he's just there's so much there's so much to make him look shitty it's like is it possible probably all right you know what let me see here where are we sitting okay you know what i'm one one last thing this is going to be long um but it's going to be as long as i can hold out again i i the ribs really are awful to be honest and my throat gives out on me eventually but i'm going to say we're probably going to go for about three hours chat you watching right now this stream will be going for about three hours if i want to cover everything i hope you're up for it i hope can i get a let's fucking go in chat so i'm not alone on this let's fucking go question mark are you ready for three hours of boogie's complete fuck up and uh, life rotation at his own hands because he's an idiot Oh, my God, I'm seeing a lot of let's fucking goes. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, yeah, pump me full of that energy. Oh, God, you keep you keep spamming it like that. Maybe we'll talk about low-tier credit, too, and his $120,000 debt. <laughs> oh, God damn. All right. All right, let me grab I, I'm going to grab a, a few things then because we're going in for the long haul. I should probably get a lot of water, actually, because it's going to be, you know, I'm just going to put my fucking commercial on. Okay, here we go. Well, let me do this. Five-minute break. I'm going to put on my commercial. When we come back, this is just a merch store commercial, whatever. Uh, when we come back, prepare yourself for three hours of Boogie2988 content and maybe a little low-tier God because he had some funny shit happen to him um, recently. Maybe I can squeeze it in. Also, I'll check in occasionally, like I said, back and forth to see if there are any updates on the Trump shooter to find out who he is or who she is. Ooh, who Zer Zim Zim Blua is. Who knows what pronouns are involved? I don't. So grab yourself a drink, use a bathroom. We're going in for the long haul on Boogie being the dumbest fucking person on the internet. And it's going to be a doozy. And we'll be back after this break. Okay. All right. Let's get into the show proper. Are you ready, Chet? Are you ready for one for me and one for the hooker? Are we doing one it? One for me and one for my hooker. Welcome to the Sob Club. Me, one for me and one for my hooker. Oh, yeah. One for me and one for the hooker. Oh, shake it. One for me and one for my hooker. Welcome to the Welcome sub club. To the sub club. Oh, the sub club. One for me and one for the hooker. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like how he does. He's got like a retarded kid's yeah at the end. Yeah. He's very proud of himself. Putting that work in. Flexing those muscles. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, let's get the first stream up and going here. Holy shit. Uh, let's see. Should be get desktop audio going. There we go. Okay. Oh, uh, this is the moment the moment I, I joined the uh, illustrious illustrious group. <laughs> Tommy, your volume's low. Chat. Yeah, I I'm know. I, 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 I'm not even sure what's wrong. I thought Mike, Mike will confirm that I said I would like to leave it out of the documentary Tuck. because I simply regretted speaking about it before. Uh, wait, oh, wait, 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 could this be simply cleared up? Because uh, Mike was doing this documentary with you for a little bit. I love it back at I'm right? I, I don't get why it would sh faking his can. I've got to, I've got to back up a little bit right when they pulled me in here. Here we go. Added the Vera part? No. no. So to set the stage, this is right before, this is right after, I should say. Uh, they're doing their stream. Destiny has already jumped on and basically gone after Boogie. Boogie's pissed. Um, his other co-hosts are starting to really doubt the veracity of his claims that he has this form of cancer that he says he has. They're questioning him. And then I got brought on because I'm, you know, the other cancer man on the internet right now. Uh, and that's where, that's no, kind of where it is. Just read it and added the Vera part. That's the fucking dumbest shit I've heard. Is there anybody waiting? Is he there? I don't know. Medicare says oh, he's backstage. Is. Says he needs. Yeah, he's backstage. Bring can you hear? Can you hear me? 
Hey, Jim, what's yes. up? Jim? Okay. So what's going on? I, I got a DM from Keemstar telling me to check out a clip from Destiny, and then I watched the Destiny clip, and it's saying that uh, that Boogie's faking his cancer. Yep, that seems to be the narrative. Okay, so why don't you walk me through why uh, why Destiny believes you're faking the cancer? Um, he doesn't know the difference between polycythemia vera and secondary polycythemia, and he thinks that I've uh, gotten confused between the two, and that uh, somehow I'm so stupid as to. I think that's the. Is am I, am I missing something there? You're missing a big portion. What Jim, am I missing? What, he, what he's missing is to disprove Destiny's whole claims, and because Destiny made a solid case, he didn't have polycythemia vera. It, all he has to do is show that a diagnosis from a doctor from his patient portal that he has polycythemia vera. It would and I'm put looking at it right now. And, 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 and he, and he and refuses Jim, to do it. And yeah. Jim, here's my ongoing theory. I sure. think he was uh, diagnosed with this disease or whatever, the non-cancer type, and he rushed to the internet, which he already confirmed. As soon as he was told he had this, he ran and made a video and then found out it's the non-cancer one after he already told the internet he had cancer because that's what destiny really hit him on that boogie has a certain disease that's not cancer now there's a similar name one that is and boogie all he has to do is prove it. he's got the paperwork right in front of him all so chat already already we've got our first possibility remember we're blues closing at, at the end of this so to start with Destiny comes in, said he did research, looked into it. The blood disease you have, the one that can turn into a cancer, uh, it, you know, the related one, the variant one, it's not cancer itself. You got confused or you intentionally lied and deceived about it, ran to the internet, told people you had it, and then later on found out it isn't the cancer version of the disease you have. And now you're so deep into it, you can't come out. And so his co-hosts offer him the opportunity. They say, hey, this this will be real simple. All you've got to do is just go on your patient portal and you can show shit. In fact, I even tell him how to do that because I literally did that myself in the stream where the Mersh stream that I did, when I put up that giant diagnosis list, that's the patient portal that shows you all the shit it says. And it keeps your privacy. It doesn't list uh, your, your care provider. It doesn't list the hospital network. It doesn't list uh, fucking anything other than a date of when you were diagnosed or it was entered in the system and what that diagnosis was. And they're like, just just show us. That's how this starts. So Destiny throws this out there. Boogie's getting a little a little heated. He gets a little angry about it, a little fucked up about it. You're going to see how angry he gets later on when he's talking to CoffeeZilla. Absolutely spurks the fuck out on the guy. Um, but, you know, he gets heated about it. And, you know, the first thing they say is, show us some proof. Show us something that verifies you have this disease. Here's how you do it. It's very simple. Let's continue. All he has to do is show the internet that he actually does have this and he refuses to do it. Well, you know? and here's the thing, because I, I did a stream, you know, because I had people saying, oh, you're faking cancer, Jim. So I showed my diagnosis and stuff like that. I'm going to guess he's working on a system similar to Epic, which most medical people do. Mm -hmm. um, you should be able to go right into diagnoses and it's going to list everything that a doctor has ever said you had. Yep. I just read it to him. Okay. And so it lists the cancer there? Yes. Okay, so you could screen cap that and just show it. I mean, that's what I did, and then that would be the end of it. Absolutely. And I made the decision two years ago that I would not do that, and I would rather leave the internet than to give the last shred of fucking privacy I have left. I'm well, no, I, and he, here's the thing. I, I understand the privacy argument. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I should have never went public with it. No, but, no, 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 no. no. Let know. me finish. I mean, you, you can redact information. There's no, there's no issue with that. But just show, I mean, it literally is just a page that says patient diagnoses. Yep. And then it lists what you have. There's, it doesn't yep. tell you who the doctor is. It doesn't tell you what hospital you go to. It, it literally just says the disease name. And I won't be doing that. But I don't understand why not. Because um, he doesn't have I, I cancer. Gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> he doesn't have cancer. Yeah, that's going to be the narrative they'll go with. So that's. What... Okay. So this, even coming into this fucking conversation, none of this makes sense to me. Imagine the setup. Imagine the setup. This is a guy that did a documentary where he gets naked in a bathtub and you see his entire body. He's there with his girlfriend. This is a guy that has done 
uh, video after video talking about all these things that he says are dark secrets in his life. Uh, you know, I think he, he had said he had been abused or molested or something when he was younger. Um, he talked about his financial difficulties. He talked about uh, suicidal ideation. He's talked about his depression. He's talked about his health care issues. Uh, there's all saga with his teeth and getting those fixed and getting them replaced. He's put everything about his life on the Internet, fully monetizable. And I'm not even knocking him for monetizing it, whatever. But there hasn't been a portion of that where he's like, no, this is too private. This is this is a bridge too far. And for the last two years, and, you know, Keem and the others are right, he's talked about his cancer. I mean, that's been, you know, obviously you, you would. Why wouldn't you? If you had cancer, it's going to be a, a large portion of your fucking life. You're going to talk about it. But for some reason, when it comes to this, the simplest thing in the world, literally showing them a screen cap, he won't do it. So right now he's got these people accusing him, Destiny and his co-host, you know, Wings, Tommy, and, and Keemstar, saying you're making it up. And he could dunk on them so hard, take the biggest W ever, and be like, look at that. Look at that asshole. There's your screenshot. Says I got cancer. Shut the fuck up. How satisfying would that feel? After the debacle of the last two to three weeks, with the crypto coin scam bullshit and all the other things that Boogie's been involved in, to have the ability to basically pull out a W like that and shit on all these people? But he that's the hill he won't do. He'll show you his giant tits. He'll show you his enormous stomach. He'll get naked for you on film. He'll talk about spending half a million dollars fucking hookers. But nope, I'm not going to privately show a screen cap, uh, you know, corroborating the veracity of the claim that I'm as sick as I say I am. Well, no, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm legit trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. When I shit on you for the crypto thing, man, I, I said, I take your word yeah. that you had cancer. I take your word that, you know, the medical shit's expensive. Yep. Um, so, I mean, I, I, this seems like the I've been, easiest I thing. I spent to... two years treating a disease that doesn't exist. These people used to be my friends, and I genuinely would have never believed that it would even come to this. And uh, I just, man, I'm just rather be done, man. I'm good. I'm so good. You're, you're, you're playing this in some kind of backstab? I mean, anybody no, can front not at all. Nobody said, no not at all. Do, do you think not I backstabbed you by having Destiny on? No, not at all. One of the biggest streamers coming on our show. No, like I, feel like, live. I feel like this could have been a private conversation and I would have shown you, Keem, specifically. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, could you, could, okay, how about this? Yeah. Instead of, instead of playing to the audience. Like, I get it. I get you've got a podcast going. I get the drama thing. I get all of that. And there's a lot of shit getting flung around. Yeah, I'm not so, playing to any you, audience. No, no, no. What, well, no, what I'm saying good. is. Could you could you screen cap that and then pick one of these three guys because you've sure. worked with them absolutely. and show and show them, but nobody else because yeah, I'm sure absolutely. everybody would. That's would something take... I could do and I will never do it. Never do it. But between now and when I die, they'll never fucking see oh, be, it. Because I'm, I don't know, like I don't know your relationship. With I'll have it tweeted when I'm. I'll have it tweeted when I'm dead. Don't worry about that. But, but they'll, I, they'll I guess when I, I'm gone. they'll see what I'm gone. I, but if if they're giving you this accusation, right? I I don't get why. It would shut them up immediately, right? Yeah, sure and would. then nobody, nobody else would ever have to see it. You keep sure your privacy. Would. Sure would. I'm good. I don't understand why you wouldn't be willing. I mean, that just seems weird to me. I'm good. You're gonna let. He's, you're gonna. You're fine. gonna walk away from this, looking. Oh, I'm like not you, walking you, away from. Yeah, I'm not. Walking well, away. no, but I mean, it, it's gonna look like you made it up now. Sure, let him have it. I'm good. He's waddling away. He's waddling away from the internet. It's it's bullshit, Boogie. You're obviously lying. Just be okay. real with us. Go with it. You know we're we're. Go with it. I I, I honestly I ex I expect lies from you. Yeah. But I Go don't expect it. this. This is wild. Yeah. But which obviously I, can, I did not do, nor would. I, but I can see. Uh, how this happened because they told you that you had this disease. You googled it. Saw it was linked to cancer, and you rushed to make a fucking video. <laughs> this little milkshake. Oh, it reminds me of the BBC clip. Oh, he's back there. Oh, give her the real fucking she deserves. Arr. So it's a very weird thing to walk into. Okay, this entire stream was fucking surreal. So he could easily clear it up. Won't do it. All these people are accusing him of this shit. You could shut them all up. Won't do it. Could uh, take a huge W and bears the fuck out of him. Won't do it. Instead, he's going to go on to say that he's decided he's quitting the internet for good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's going to quit the internet for good. That's his master plan. That you have cancer. And sure, then that... you found out later that you don't. But you sure, had to be, continue that'll... the lie. Yeah, that'll be the story you guys are telling and enjoy. What go do ahead. you mean? It's not a story. I know this is how it go played ahead. out. 
I well, know is, it is. Is there anybody? Okay, let's say you, you, you've got issues with them, right? Yeah. Um, is there anybody? Seen it, my roommate seen it. I, I'd well, no, no. I mean, I mean, aside from somebody but, that lives with you, like, like a coffee zeller or some neutral. My most confident people. No, there's well, no. Well, but I mean, like, like a, a no, neutral no. third party. Other than trust. my most confident people that I trust, I would no, no. I'm not, and even that, I wouldn't do that. I could, I could call Desi in here right now, and she would. And I won't even do that. I won't even do that. No, thank you. I'm good. I mean, it looks, it looks good. bad. Good. You understand that it looks yes. terrible. Yes, I know. I'm good. Mm. How, can can I ask you? I mean, when you got actually, you know, I'm I'm excited to get Chad's opinion on this. Let me let me do this real quick. Go back to the normal thing. I want to I want to I want to pull you, Chad. I want I want your you you've watched just a few minutes of this, but I want to get a poll going, and I want to see what what's your gut tell you. Is Boogie lying? Yes or no? Just based on what you're seeing right now and how he's reacting and kind of responding to people, is he full of shit or is he – what's going on here? What is your actual 100% gut reaction? That's right. It's poll time. Oh, you're going to get pulled? You're going to get the shit pulled out of you. Yeah, <laughs> it's not looking good, Bookster. Let's see. So far, we've got 3,000 votes with 98% all saying, yes, Boogie is lying. Just based off this initial start to what is going to be a very long stream. The other 2% are Boogie alts, of course. And Jackson Clark just stirring shit. <laughs> He's jumping in just to stir some shit. Oh, we're up to 4,000 votes now. 4,000 votes. And what does it look like? 4,200 votes. 98% st solidly stuck at 98%. Not looking good. I'll give it one more minute here. One more minute. Maybe a miracle will happen and it'll reverse itself, Boogie. Okay, we're at 5,000 votes. It's still at 98%. There's just, yeah. I'm sorry, 90, yeah, 98%. There's no way. There's no way. It's done. You're done. It's over. Oh, it's over. I don't understand what the reason for not doing it at this point would be. The reputational damage that Boogie has taken is immense. He's coming off a, a, a fucking scandal with his crypto coin. He's desperate for money. And now he's got people coming out saying he's faking the cancer shit, and they're bringing up reasons why they believe he is. You'll see that when Destiny talks. And he could clear it up instantly with a screen cap he says he has available and ready at his hand. And he refuses to do it. That's the hill he's going to die on. And that just, I don't know, it just, I get a gut feeling that there's something fucky with that. And based on the voting going on in chat, it seems like you do too. But let's continue. Maybe, maybe he pulls it off. Maybe, maybe he pulls himself out of this. At the diagnosis, uh, how did they diagnose you? Can you say that at least? Yes. Uh, we did a blood test, which we do every three months or six months regularly. They saw that my red blood cell counts were up. We had a conversation. Fucking wings. Wings up in his little, his little video window. Digging a fucking uh, grave for Boogie. <laughs> Just wings. Wings had some real. He had some real gems in this one. I'm going to be honest with you. He was dropping some bombs on Boogie throughout about this. that. I didn't think too terribly much about it. He <laughs> said he wanted to check for blood markers for polycythemia vera. They look for a specific hormone in the blood that is produced. Uh, they found it. He called me and let me know that they found it. That that means I have polycythemia vera and that we were going to treat it, but the treatment plan doesn't change very much because you cannot treat the cancer directly, so you have to treat the symptoms. And so for the last two years, we've been doing that. And one of the things I would like to do is because uh, there is a chance that those blood markers are being brought on for another reason, even though it's invasive and expensive and pretty pointless, I was going to go ahead and push for the uh bone marrow biopsy because i would very much know that i have a girlfriend okay see this is where i think he slipped up a little bit and i've seen people bring this point up when they've been talking about this i think destiny touched on it people at kiwi farms have touched on it people on social media have touched on it he's saying that um to get a diagnosis for this disease you need a blood test and he said but there's a chance 
the thing they've been treating for two years isn't what I have. So to have a conclusive diagnosis, I need to get a bone marrow biopsy or to have some kind of follow-up testing done. Well, okay, because I guess I'm confused then. What was the treatment you were receiving? Like hormone injections? Because, you know, when he was talking in my chat, he was talking about spending money that he was getting not on cancer treatments, but on weight loss supplements. So now here he's saying, well, there's a chance. So he's already like soft admitting, right, from his perspective. You know, they're saying, do you have cancer? He's saying, yes, I have cancer. You're sure you have cancer? Yes, I'm sure you have cancer. You're, you're positive that that's what's going on. Yep, I'm positive that's what's going on. But now he follows up a few minutes later. Well, there's a chance that it's not. And the only way really to confirm it is with his other test. And somebody that I love in my life, I would very much like for them to be wrong. And it's like a one in a thousand shot. But I thought I would take it. I thought I would take it. And, and so that's, you, how, you, that's how that's how destiny's come up with his LARP and all this other stuff. It's, it's oh, OK, so and the bone marrow biopsy would be the conclusive test for this. then. Or? Yes, yes. I, I mean, there's pretty much no other reason that your body would be producing this particular hormone, according to uh, my doctor and according to everything I've read. But destiny's argument, Mediger, is that sure. they wouldn't be doing the biopsy had they already made the confirmation to begin with. That's right. Now, I, I couldn't tell you if that's true or not. But... Oh, I, and I, I don't know what kind of cancer. I, like, I'll give you my what happened with me, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I had a growth on the top of my head. It looked like a portal wine stain. Nobody really gave it much thought. You go in, get some uh, steroids. It's some, you know, we don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and for like a year, it was just flat, no issues. Um, and then it started like wildly growing. And the doctor's like, ah, you know, shit, I don't know what this is. You should go into dermatology. So I go into dermatology. And the guy's like, oh, we got to we gotta we fucking biopsy this thing. We got to take a look at this shit. So uh, they do the biopsy. Um, they're like, we've got to set it in for cell staining. Um, you know, on top of that, we're going to do blood work and a PET scan. Uh, and then they also ordered a bone biopsy, too. Um, and did all that. And it took like a week. And I got everything back. And then they're like, conclusively, you know, you have lymphoma. I mean, that's what's going on. That's a tumor. After you got the the, the conclusive, have you had biopsies since for separate reasons or to double check uh, since you were uh, diagnosed? Yeah. So, so basically what happened was I got the diagnosis um, right after the initial biopsy. They set up um, some blood work, a PET scan, and then they did the bone biopsy just to see if it had spread. Mm -hmm. um, and then from that point onward, I, I didn't like need extra biopsies. What they would do is they just do PET scan imaging because it'll make cancer light up um in your body you know like any any areas or like any autoimmune stuff mm -hmm. um but yeah it took like a week and it was really it was definitive it was cut and dry it was like um this is what you have this is what we're seeing under the microscope yeah um, so like, i don't know it, i, I it don't is, know it like... is a fairly different cancer um number one there's no attacking this one or treating it directly um and number two the prognosis on it is 20 years like you pointed out you have real cancer i have like the fucking starter kit of cancer Right. It's just a blood disease. Realistically, it does. Find the starter. He has the starter kit of cancer. It's the start. It's a starter kit of cancer. Can't really. There's no treatment for it, but I've been treating it for two years. It's the starter kit of cancer. <laughs> OK. Five percent. Uh, Five percent of people in the first 10 years have it convert to leukemia. I think it's a higher percentage after 20 years. The biggest risk is that it produces too many red blood cells in your blood, and that causes you to be at a higher risk or stroke or heart attack. And I'm already at an extremely high risk of stroke or heart attack. I mean, I'm just repeating myself at this point, but I'm, I'm but sorry, yeah, but did yeah, you say very different starter? Things. Did you say starter kit? Like you haven't started having cancer? No, it's like the, it's the big, it's like the tutorial version of cancer. What, what he's Does that make is, sense? The it's the easy is, one. If you're going to get one, this is the one you, you want to get. Live, you can live forever on this thing. It, it rarely kills people. It's it's not the it. dark souls of cancer. That's no, right. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah, yeah, it's the, the, an, it's <laughs> the animal crossing of cancer. You have the dark souls of cancer. Okay. So I just like to take a moment here. The boogie is now officially referred to as cancer as the animal crossing of cancer. So. Let's take a look at my beautiful merchandise. I survived animal cancer. <laughs> the animal crossing of cancer. You see our little, your little, you see our little, little metal pup there and a little hat. It's got a little, little watering can that says chemo on it <laughs> and everything she pours the chemo on. It kills. Yeah. Fun, fun fact about chemo drugs. And I, I got the sit down talk with this. They're like, ah, if we do chemotherapy and you have to do treatment at home, oh, just so you know, 
Um, it's highly toxic. Nobody else can touch this shit. You have to get like a special container to keep it in. It's like a fucking biohazard. <laughs> it's terrible shit. So if you mess with shit like Red Devil, it's, it's awful. So he's got the Animal Crossing of Cancer. So to commemorate this, don't forget to swing by the Medicare.myshopify.com storefront and pick up a wonderful Animal Cancer puzzle, glass, sweater, or t-shirt, or get you, your, you know, the old-fashioned salad dodger in commemoration of this tragic event. Again, that's Medicare.myshopify.com. Brought to you by, <laughs> brought to you by our sponsors at, um, what was it? It's a baby. I can't remember what I did. Oh, it was Focus on the Family. Brought to you by Focus on the Family. There we go. Brought to you. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Oh, the starter kit of cancer. Animal Crossing of Cancer. Uh, no, I, I, I'm not even close. So, um, I, I, I like, I, I mean, it's weird being in the position I am to say this. So, okay. Um, like uh, just with the crypto shit, man. I mean, there were so many fucking lies related to that. Sure. And it, it, you came off terribly with that. Yeah, so now you've got Destiny. Like, you've got like, Destiny like, making. A, you've got Destiny making these accusations. Yeah. If I tweet and, this and, tomorrow, and, it's not I mean, going to change anything. I'm no, just gone. It doesn't matter. It would, shut, I, it would make tweet. everybody. It would make yeah. everybody look like an asshole. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It would. It, it would make everybody on this fucking stream no, look like the world's no, biggest they'll, assholes they'll for doing it. They'll pick it apart, and they'll say I'm lying again. They'll say the proof isn't How are enough. They say you're lying the web portal's not enough. Now I want a fucking medical record. Now I need to be a fucking list. What about your peers? Not going to do it. Not going to do it. I, w I would straight up apologize we don't work to you together for anymore. doubting you. Yeah, we don't work I, together anymore. We're good. We're good. What do you mean we don't work together? I'm leaving the internet. I'm good. No, you're <laughs> not. <laughs> I'm we not leaving too well. This is what doesn't make sense to me. If you're in the right, if these assholes are persecuting you and you have cancer. Would you, you want to sit in here for, with these people for two fucking uh, uh, two nights a week? Because I don't. I don't you're know. What do you, what, do you, what are you paying? What are you paying, Keem? What are you paying? You're, okay. He's getting paid to pay his mortgage from this show. He's manipulating Not right now. I'll take, I'll take his mortgage. Fire yeah. his ass. I'll take his mortgage. Yeah. Get on, get I'll on the show. fucking show. Yeah. 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 Where's, where's my money? Where's my motherfucking money? Get rid of Tubby here. I'll take that mortgage. What is this mortgage? Did he say it's like six grand a month? Your $68 billion a month mortgage. I'll take it. Give it to me. Give me that goddamn... Give me that goddamn mortgage. I'll take it. Doesn't, doesn't give it to Jimmy. No, Jimmy doesn't get it. It just doesn't add up. Everything about this interaction is really fucking strange. You can disprove all these people that are doubting you, uh, embarrass them greatly, get a giant W, get a ton of sympathy, clear the fucking air with one screen cap shown privately to one person, refuses to do it. Instead, has decided they're going to leave the show that's paying their mortgage and on top of that, quit the internet entirely in, a, in itself. This is a guy who did a documentary where he's like, to pay my bills and get food money, I'm going to have to basically sell my Magic the Gathering cards. Oh, there goes my blue and black deck. I'm going to have to sell my cards to get by. Kiss the dual lands goodbye. There go the moxes. Oh, the power nine. You know, whatever. Oh, my God. It's all going away. And now he's in the, when he says he can prove himself right and show everybody that he's telling the truth, now he's walking away. He's going to go homeless because of that. Make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, it'd be fun. That's a good replacement. I'm proud of that. That's a very good replacement, Jim. But why would you leave? I, I don't understand. If you're in the right, if you have cancer, if they're the assholes, if you can make them look <coughs> like cunts and make money, I, why would you leave the internet? Here's the I, screenshot I, of it right I, here. I, I just I took the be, screenshot of it right I gotta here. I got to be honest. We yeah, do then, need... then send it to one of them and shut them the fuck up, and then you'll never have to listen to it again. No. I gotta be. I gotta be honest. We do need Destin, or excuse me, uh, Medicare on here because we actually do need a host with cancer. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Dude, so why you're, are you you're lying? saying you're gonna you're saying you're gonna walk away. No more YouTube, Twitter, any of that shit. Yeah. But this okay, is, this uh, is too much, man. This is but too but much. but, but this why? Why? Aside from this, this shit, if you, if you walk away much. from the show, but why? Is this is too much, man? 
Dude, the, the, the problem is it's taken this so long much. for you to even get that screenshot. By the time you send us the screenshot, people yeah, are going to be like, the well, he made it. Done. Yeah, the he name made, is already He done. made a fake screenshot exactly. at that time. Exactly. There is no way out of it. It's already over. I'm going to FaceTime. Good. I'm going to FaceTime, uh, I guess, Desi's phone and then show me on no. FaceTime right now. No. On your phone. No. <laughs> You're Never. lying. Oh, you gotta use uh, Keem, Keem, you've got to use carrot and stick. What bonus would you pay him to do that? There is no. Oh, I've already been offered uh, ten thousand dollars plus a free trip to Disney World, and the answer is no. well, nobody, nobody likes Disney World. Ten thousand dollars. All right, this is where it starts to get fucking stupid. All right, so we've gone from I just need a screenshot. Now they're offering him cash money. Remember, this is a guy that just did a fucking crypto scam and fucked his audience in their ass. He's willing to let them lose money, fuck them in their ass for a crypto scam to make 10K because he was that desperate for the money. That was his thing because he's sick and he needs the money to pay medical bills. Here they are saying, if you can prove this to us privately, don't even have to show the audience. We will pay you $10,000 cash money right now. And wait till you see the number this fucking gets up to. I love Disney World. It was 5,000. It's up to 15,000 total. 15 grand? Fucking do it. No. He's going to pay you $15,000 to look like an asshole in front of his entire audience, and you're yep. saying no. Yep. He's this lying. is too much, man. I don't know if you guys can understand. This I can completely understand. I went through yep. two years of fucking yep. people like Mersh saying I was faking it. Yep. Well, and so you... I did a stream. I did a stream and sold a shit ton of hats laughing at him showing medical records. You've yep. got the opportunity to do the exact same thing right now on his home turf. No. I'm good. This makes no sense to me. Yeah, it probably doesn't. Hey, don't you want to take care of Desi? Isn't that yeah, what I'm going, I promise you I plan to. I promise you I plan to. I promise you I plan to. How are you going to do that if you're not on the internet and just running away? Like, you can't do You can't have it both ways. You'll see. Okay. What are we going to see? You're going to go with, like, cut tickets at the local movie theater? Some some ordinary <laughs> some ordinary gamers will all f- also put $10,000 towards it. Jesus Make it 100. Gosh. Make it a million. If, I'm, if I'm you good. have. Okay, so he's already up to. This, I, like, this is fucking in my head. $25,000 is on the table from Keemstar, Destiny, and some ordinary gamers, Mudahar. They are all together have thrown in $25,000 into this pot for him to show a single screen cap, which he says he has on his phone at that very moment. He doesn't have to show it to anybody else, just one of these three guys. Not only will he be able to embarrass them, take the biggest W he's ever taken, He'll make $25,000. I want you to think about how it is for you watching the stream right now. How's the economy doing? Things are tight, right? I mean, you know, rent or mortgages are high. Grocery bills are high. Twenty-five k that's a lot of money for people that are doing okay. Now imagine you're in, uh, you know, almost destitute. Like, that's Boogie's thing. He's almost destitute. He's he's losing so much money. He can't, you know, afford his mortgage. He can't afford his food. He can't afford to do anything. $25,000. But he won't do it. Man, my bullshit detector is fucking going off the charts. Of cancer, if you prove no, that. that this is bullshit. No, 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 no. You got 25 k sitting on the table. There's something fucky yeah. going on here. Yeah, the something fucky is, man. I'm just exhausted. I'm done. I'm you done. just did a crypto scam to make money because you said you're worried about cash. They're offering 25k. Yeah, I thought and you that get was to funny. shit on them. You yeah. get to shit on them. Yeah, and, things, and the that, yeah things that might have changed. Uh, Drama Alert already tweeted that I faked cancer, so we're good. No, we we're good. Didn't. 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 They said the destiny. That's even. That's it. even better. Then you make 25k, and he's got to retract it. It looked like the biggest no. dick on earth. We're good. <laughs> Fucking keeps start picking on a cancer patient. Oh my we're god, good. come on. We're good. You're lying. It's so go, obvious. Go that. Why? That. Why go would you that. lie about this? Because I didn't. Just tell us the truth. What really happened? Come on. What really happened was I went to my doctor. He checked my red. He checked my blood count. My hemoglobin and my red blood cell counts were up. We did a second test. We found out that there was a blood marker that tells me that I have <laughs> um, uh, polycythemia vera in the, the, the test that we did, and we've been treating it for two years. That's, and, but, that's but you haven't happened. confirmed that you have it. Nope. Oh, wait, wait. I think we got an answer right there. You haven't confirmed that you have cancer. Confirmed it with you. No, I have not. No, I will not. 
No, not with me, with, with your doctor. Your doctor hasn't said you 100% have cancer yet, right? We confirmed it with the blood test, yes. That's a yes. He's saying that we confirmed it. We confirmed it with the blood test. There's no other reason that those hormone markers would be in my blood. Except when he just literally said 10 minutes ago, well, there is an outside possibility it is something else, and that's why we need to do a bone marrow biopsy to have a conclusive result. But apparently he forgot that. Right? I mean, we've, we've been watching this together, chat. Do you remember that when he said that just literally five minutes ago? Well, I mean, there is an outside possibility. It's not cancer. And, you know, the blood markers are indicating some other disease, and that's why they want a bone marrow biopsy. Uh, can, can, Wings, can I ask you a question? Sure. If Keemstar accused you some shit, right, and let's say it involves some kind of private information, and he was willing to let you show him that private information uh, on stream but not to the audience and said, if you prove me wrong, here's 25000 fucking dollars, and I'll tweet out that I'm a giant I'll, asshole. I'll do you one better. I'll do you one better. Yeah. I had, a, I had a troll come at me and accuse my wife of cheating on me. And they had like this picture of like our fingers that had like come on it. And there was like a cover back there. And they had linked this cover to my house. <laughs> yeah, I went out. You off on a blanket. It's a I little went, different I from went out and I went out and took a cancer. picture of the cover. Can you tell the difference the between the two? I showed you fucking retarded. I showed where I showed when I showed the new cover I got from like the Christmas of 2021. Sure. You know, it's like, it's like, whatever. It's like, like, again, I pulled my blood work out to like show like where I big what, what surgeries I had on this stream. But like, it's not that big a deal. But you would take the money, right? Oh, yeah, I'll take the money. I would snatch his fucking arm off. T Tommy, if you were in a similar situation, 25K sitting on the table, would you do it? Yeah, you have family. I'm, it's all my obligation yep. to be that kind of money. I'd fucking do it. <laughs> and had this played out differently, I might have considered otherwise. No, I don't, yeah. no, I don't, I don't believe that. I believe you don't have the information. It's really pissed okay. me off. Exactly. Can you pull your audience? Can you pull your audience right now and ask them if they had 25K offered right now? To prove something they were saying is true, would they take it? Because I don't it, think make it a hundred thousand. Anybody's yeah. going to say no. Make the poll. Make the poll, Tommy. Make it a hundred thousand. Say a hundred thousand. Because exactly. my answer is still no. My answer is still no. You know the most infuriating part of this? As the stream goes on, more and more content creators, different people, fucking start showing up. Different people start showing up and offering more money. You know he's being flippant right now and saying make it a hundred thousand. Last I checked, it had got up to eighty five thousand dollars. Chat, think about this for a moment. There were enough people that were willing to put this into like an escrow account or have it held by a lawyer. $85,000 was the top last number I heard. For him to show a singular screen cap to Keemstar Wings or Tommy to just fucking prove it. 85000 If you go back and watch Mike Klum's documentary where he's talking about his house and losing it, and he's talking about how much of a mortgage he has left on it. I believe it's like one hundred and forty, one hundred and thirty thousand dollars left. He is just that eighty-five thousand just wiped out an enormous amount of it. It just made that an achievable goal. Your mortgage would have been redu reduced to fifty to sixty k. You could have sold shit and made that money, and then you'd have a house you don't have to pay a mortgage on. To show one screen cap, but instead. Instead, your brilliant fucking plan is to leave the internet, to leave the revenue sources you desperately need, the uh, guaranteed money from LolCow, the guaranteed money from uh, YouTube ad, or ad revenue on YouTube, whatever merchandising stuff that you might do, whatever, um, uh, I don't know, sponsorships uh, you might still have. You're going to walk away from all of that, and it's going to magically somehow be taken care of. There isn't a single person on earth that would be in a bad financial spot that would not be like, oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I'll show you that. $85,000. Here you go. Take a look. One screenshot. 85 k Now, he could come out in a week with definitive proof that he has cancer. And, yeah, people will still look stupid, but not as dumb as he does. Because he literally has walked away from life-changing money for no conceivable or sensible fucking reason how do you look at that and think that he is not retarded how do you look at that and think he's not lying the entire two hour you know this entire mike Klum documentary was based on the fact that boogie was in a horrible spot 
He's not making money anymore. His YouTube ad revenue went from a quarter of a million dollars down to like twenty thousand dollars. He's making two grand a month off a of lol cow. He's making a little bit of money off of merchandise. He just can't make ends meet. He can't sustain his lifestyle. He gets involved in a crypto scam and fucks his audience over. And he tries to get sympathy and excuse it by saying, I had no choice but to do it. You don't understand how bad the medical stuff is. I had to do what I did. I needed that $10,000. So you you went from being so desperate for 10 k just to survive another month and a half, and that was just a week or two ago, to suddenly being too good to take $85,000 to show one singular screen cap to prove what you're saying is true. And people are supposed to take you at your word and say that you're not full of shit, that this isn't another boogie lie. And as this entire stream goes through, and I didn't play into it, the others did a little bit or addressed it. I'm, I'm used to people like this. I've encountered them before. Uh, you know, the, the, the suicide baiting uh, put in a, you know, like my, my double meaning phrase to hint at, oh, well, you'll read about it when I'm dead. Or, oh, it'll be taken care of when I'm not here, wink, wink. I don't care about any of that. I just treat it like it's a Tumblr girl thing. I, just whatever. You're going to jump off a bridge? Fuck, I don't care. You know, they, they talk about it a little bit because they're so used to him doing it. But, like, it's any deflection he can pull out. Like, this 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 faux uh, righteous indignation or this I'm going to off myself shit or whatever it is that he's attempting at the moment. But it makes no sense. There's not a single person. There is not one person watching this fucking stream right now that would not take that $85,000. It just isn't. It is, there's nobody. Nobody. Nobody's going to say no. Well, I can see the answers already. They're all screaming yes. Of course they are. And they're not mean. But you've, you've stated before that you're under financial strain and difficulty. That's a, a 25 case, yes, a lot of fucking money. Yes, sir. To, to show my medical records. No, thank you. That's for that's No, for to, to, to show that's one one screen cap that says diagnosed. That's, that's it. To one that's person. For that's for me. It's not for you. You told fucking everybody I'm cancer. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Dude, the day you found out, you told everyone. It's There's nothing for yeah, you. Yeah, but I didn't tweet my about. fucking medical records, records did I? Why? Did does I it say you have that? AIDS on it or something? Like what's, no, it says what's... that I have polycythemia vera. It's for me, Kim. Is this for me. Told everybody. Yeah, and I and I will. You know, I, again, I'll continue to talk about it, but I never should have to no, begin with. Let me tell you what else is for you: living in your fucking car. If you keep up this line of conversation. No, I, no, I'm not worried about that. How are you not worried you about that? You <laughs> fucking wings. You're gonna be living in a van down by the river. I just the wings just he had I, again he just pops in every once in a while just to kind of like are you were fucking dumb boy you were just you shouldn't be worried about that. You I was quitting the show you shouldn't be worried about that don't worry about it well yeah can I ask as an aside while this is this conversation is going on how are you going to financially support yourself I don't think I will so you're going to go live in the gutter instead of taking 25k to prove these assholes wrong I'll let Desi no. down Oh no, Desi will be fine. We talked about yeah, this all Desi last night. Desi will be night. fine back once, at her parents' house. When you're Nicholas, in those car, dude. Yeah, once Nicholas Diorio sent me this message, we knew exactly what was coming, and we talked about this at great length last night. I didn't sleep. How is talked about this? Nick Diorio did he did he have something to do with this too? Then or what did I'm he? Certainly he did. He said, "Do you have secondary polycythemia?" And I said, "No, this is what they diagnosed me of," and I linked it to him. But it was a pretty big sign that there was a group chat going. I told Tommy about it this morning. And uh, I was like, yeah, what do we do, Desi? And we made our decision, and I'm going to stick by that decision. I didn't know what you were talking about this morning. Oh. No idea. This decision doesn't make logic. Well, how's the poll going? What does the poll say? In your 95%, 95 to 5. 95% <laughs> would take the money. Mm -hmm. You look so I have 5% are boogie olds. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> Buggy, you look hey, my so hands are right fucking my hands are right Obviously, it's a joke, Buggy. You yeah. look so uncomfortable, Buggy. Yeah. I'm very unhappy right now. Hey, Manager, is this bigger than Monday Matter? So why, why, why sit here if, with if all these hours? I, I mean, you're, you're asking me, like, if Boogie were to be faking cancer for two years and then running, you know, with the, you know, yes, that would be, I, that would be, I, that. I don't know how you, I don't know how you'd recover from it. Um, if it was done, that, Thankfully, that did not happen, but yes. So that's what I'm saying. Prove them wrong. No, thank well, you. Well, the start of recovery is to tell the fucking truth. Yeah, well, the know. truth is, I got diagnosed with polycythemia there about two years. I believe. Listen, I believe you.
he will stick to this the entire time. He will refuse to budge from this. This is the bridge that, uh, you know, that can't be burnt. He won't, uh, this, this uh, line won't be crossed. This is just for him. Can you imagine being offered $85,000 to prove something you know is true and being like, no, I'm good. After desperately telling the internet that you were on the brink of fucking living in poverty. Can you make it make sense to me, chat? Because I can't make it make sense to me. Nothing about this makes any fucking sense to me. The only thing that would make this log the only thing that would make this seem uh, logical on how he's behaving is if he's full of shit and lying. As if uh, Keem and them were right. Remember, Blue's Clues. Did he get diagnosed with a disease that's similar to the cancer form, but not the cancer form? Jump the gun, tell the internet, and now he's too deep to admit the truth? Does he actually have cancer, and he's the world's biggest idiot? Or is he just straight out malicious and lying for pity and donos? Like, those are the three big choices. I mean, which is it? Which is he doing? How do you walk away from 85K when you're in that financial situation? It doesn't make sense. He doesn't want to pull a mundane mat. All he had to do was show Keem or Tommy or fucking uh, Wings one screen cap. And man, as this fucking conversation goes on, he pulls out all, all the stops. Suicide baiting, brings up the fact, uh, I think he said he was abused or molested, to which I responded, well, the cancer didn't molest you. <laughs> like, let's keep it focused here, right? We're here to talk about that. Anything and everything but the fucking conversation. Uh, a lot of people in chat I'm reading through, uh, pity, uh, saying, trying to get pity donations, or he's, he's lying, he's making it up. You know, I'm going to jump around a little bit. Let's go to the CoffeeZilla. Okay, so if you remember from the first stream, like, Boogie tried to, tr like, dump the blame off on CoffeeZilla. It was really, like, as far as, like, manipulation goes and, like, sociopathic behavior, it was really kind of stunning. He made up, like, um, 10 to 15 different excuses, and at the end when Coffee was like, well, how do we stop content creators from robbing their audience? And Boogie basically said, well, you should have done a better job. Coffee, this is your fault. You should have done a better fucking job. So after the initial cancer stream, you know, Coffee's a, a little flummoxed, obviously, a little pissed off. I don't blame him. Or uh, the, the cryptocurrency stream. Then after this stream happens, Coffee uploads another video on his secondary channel with more conversation between him and Boogie. And you need to hear how Boogie spazzes the fuck out on him. He, like, he goes to full tart on him. And, again, everything is everybody else's fault. He's an innocent angel baby. Oh, my God, he's so sweet. Look at our little beautiful cherub. Our little innocent, our little, a little pudgy little innocent angel baby. Oh, he's the little bookster. Let me pull up the coffee video. This is something else. A YouTuber we accused of a crypto scam just got accused of faking cancer. You are faking your cancer diagnosis, Boogie. Despite being offered a total of $80,000 to prove everyone wrong if he could show his diagnosis to a private third party, he refused to do so, which is annoying because publicly he uses his cancer as a shield from any wrongdoing. In fact, when I confronted Boogie on his crypto scam, that's one of the reasons he used. I'm in pretty dire need of money. Uh, I have a lot of medical bills and I'm fighting cancer. And more specifically, why he had to promote the coin and couldn't pay back $5,000. The money's already spent. That's it's it's at it's at Mercy Hospital right now. It's gone. I used it to pay debts. I'll be honest. I have no idea if Boogie is faking cancer. I also don't understand why he wouldn't just show it if he had a diagnosis. But either way, we won't know without an actual doctor involved. So I won't speculate on that. But what I can do is confront Boogie on this second claim: the cancer and medical bills. Because I found out a few days ago that these statements were false. I know this because Boogie gave us a timeline of when he got paid in the first place. So when were you paid the 5000 Five days ago. Later, I verified with Boogie this payment occurred on June 19th. And when Boogie said all the money was gone on June 26th, that gives us a window of time where he should have receipts for about $5,000 of medical expenses. Boogie. Are, are you ready, chat? Are you ready to watch CoffeeZilla nail Boogie's ass to the wall? Are you ready to see him crucify him, chat, for your amusement? Poor Coffee. He's trying to be a nice guy. 
And I think he's just reached his limit of bullshit with this dude. And now he's going to have to crucify Boogie. He's going to have to nail him up on that giant wooden tee for the rest of the internet to see what happens when you fuck with him. Because here we go. When I asked, agreed to share these expenses with me, and the following conclusions are based on him providing accurate records, which I know is a dubious idea, but when he shared what he had, it fell far short of even what I was expecting. He gave me two receipts for the time period, one for $154, the other for a copay of $60, a total of $214 by the time we talked. So where did the rest of the money go? Well, Boogie claimed that it was really intended for medical expenses after we spoke, and that when he said the money was gone, he meant it colloquially and then accused me of lying. You wait, wait. Liar. that's on June you 28th. Liar. That's on June. Dude, I love this. You liar. Oh, you fucking liar. Listen to him spurg the fuck out. I love it. And that when he said the money was gone, he meant it colloquially and then accused me of lying. You wait, wait. that's on June you 28th. Liar. That's on June 28th. You showed me a payment for 550 on June 28th, which is after we talked, after you told me the money was all gone. Have you never heard of the colloquialism? Yeah, that money's all gone. It's all spent. I have a specific thing I need to do with it. Have you never heard that colloquialism? Use fucking Google then. <laughs> you fucking hashtag decaf liar. Oh, I'm on to you now, buddy. Imagine, imagine you get caught lying about a crypto scam. You get caught lying about cancer payments. You get caught lying about your finances to a dude who dedicates his entire channel to dealing with finances and crypto scams. And your response is to scream at him that he's a fucking filthy liar and that he needs to educate himself by Googling some shit. It's very common. I'm saying. I'm not used to this level of scrutiny. I'm not I can used tell. to this level of yes. scrutiny. I need that. Can somebody in chat who's talented? Uh, can you make that a ringtone? Can we make that a song? Somebody want to remix that? I think that, that might be the most honest thing he's ever said. I'm not I'm not used to this level of scrutiny. Fucking Google then. It's very common. I'm saying. I'm not used to this level of scrutiny. I'm not I can used tell. to this level of yes. scrutiny. Yes. Okay, so I have a big problem with this. Because looking back at what Boogie said, it wasn't just the money's gone, which already means very specifically the money's gone. But he also says the money's at Mercy Hospital right now, which is a colloquialism I've never heard before. If you mean it's not at Mercy Hospital, it's at, it's at Mercy Hospital right now. It's but even being as charitable as I can, adding in everything he calls medical expenses outside of our time window, like there was an $1,000 credit card payment. Okay, we'll just say that's medical, right? Um, He's still only able to get me to about $2,500 worth of medical expenses for the month, most of it not to Mercy Hospital, which I wondered about. Did he need the fatty coin then from where I was sitting instead of having spent the money on medical bills? It looked like he saved most of it because of his starting and ending bank balances for the month. Wait, wait, you're, you're taking... Liar. You paid about $2,500, like... You're you're set. You're also talking about money you haven't spent, which you're trying to add up to three thousand dollars. That's not the five thousand dollars you said was gone, and then you're taking. Well, I told you it was four thousand when we started this conversation, but of course you're lying about that too. Boogie, can you explain exactly how you started the month with eight hundred dollars, ended it with five thousand? You're saying the five thousand dollars you made from a crypto scam has nothing to do with it. Oh God! Oh. Oh, little Jimmy's nipples are hard. I think that's what we, was that, oh, is that what we call a kill shot, kids? Oh, my little, my little nipples are hard over, oh, God, they're, they're pointing out, like, oh, oh, you get cold in here? Why are my nipples sticking out? I think that might be a kill shot. I think that might be what we call a kill shot. <laughs> it's just screaming at this poor guy, you're a liar. You're a liar. Yeah, that's going to win him over. Can you explain to me how you said you spent $5,000 when I'm looking at your bank balance? It says you have um, $5,000. Oh, you're a liar. You don't know. Arr. It's the big black cock meat, coffeezilla, on the high seas of whoredom. 
I need that five thousand dollars, or or they're gonna or they're gonna write up my poop shoot with a scallywag or something. I saved my ass off. That's right. The five thousand dollars Boogie made from a crypto scam has nothing to do with the five thousand dollars sitting in his bank account right now. That's there because he pinched his pennies. Now, when I pointed out, Boogie could have refunded the scam if he wanted to. He freaked out and told me he's got a mortgage to pay. Boogie, you need to pay that $5,000 back. You need to find a way to refund people. It's not spent. You have $5,000. Fuck you. It's spent. It's a spent. I love his voice changes. Do you notice that? Uh, it's like a weird, like a weird 20 year old Cartman. I don't know what that voice is. Fuck you, it's Spain Coffee Zilla. You're a liar. You're a liar. One for me in the soap club, Coffee Zilla. You're fucking lying. The money is Spain. I spent, no. Well, I can't. I won't have mortgage. But this is totally shifting the goalposts. Remember, the reason we were told the money was at Mercy Hospital right now, that was initially, now it's because he's got a mortgage. But also, Boogie had showed me his income for the last month, and it looked to me like the podcast is what paid for his mortgage. And so I asked, wouldn't that money pay for your mortgage? Boogie said, this month it wouldn't because he had to go on a special trip, and his co-host was withholding all the money for that month. Do you understand? I'm You're not getting a po home. Where's your podcast payment coming from? You got that on the 30th. I, 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 it's being fucking tested. Fuck you, it's it. I'm not getting any money from Keemstar. And their money is spent, too. You know, I asked Keemstar on Lokal. This was actually brought up. I could dig for it. We'll dig for it later, maybe. And I asked him, because they brought up the monthly payments that they get. And I said, is that true? Was Boogie not paid his money? And Wings clarified and said, um, it is true. We did get our money late. But then Wings went on to clarify they got their money late by one day. It's like, oh, it's the very last day of the month. We got it on the first instead. So a 24-hour delay? Is that what you're telling me? God, he lies so fucking much. This dude lies so much. Oh, Keemstar didn't pay me really means Keemstar paid me one day later than usual. 24 hours after he has normally paid me every other time. Get the fuck out of here. You should go for this goddamn trip. The money's coming out of my goddamn paycheck. So you're going on a trip. Yes, I'm being forced to go up there to film the fucking podcast live. I told him I didn't want to. He told me the business was going to pay for it. And then he just said he's not he's taking it out of the... Holy shit, really. His voice, it, it takes on like this high-pitched demeanor. And it's like faster. It is like a like it's it's a twenty year old Cartman. It's spin. Yeah, bah, 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 bah. like it's really. I don't. Is this a really? Is this his real voice? I wonder if this is what he's really like. Oh my God! Could you could you be a fly on the wall in that house? Could you imagine what he's like when he just gets upset with normal stuff? I stubbed my toe. Oh, the I stepped in dog shit. Oh, Desi, I stepped in dog shit. And the toilet paper spent. Check. Now later, I asked his co-host Keemstar about this, and he seemed surprised. He said the show definitely pays for Boogie's mortgage, so I was confused. Later, Boogie was confronted on this by his co-host, and Boogie suggested maybe I edited the clip out of context. You told him that you weren't getting paid from this show. He played the fucking recording because he recorded you. Then why? Then I understand that. Do you think people can edit things to be a little bit out of context? Well, if he wants to play that game, here's the clip where Boogie directly says it. He says he's not getting paid. Boogie, you could have gotten through this month without the crypto scam, is what I'm saying. It, and I could have not paid my friend back for covering my medical bills. No, no, no. You and I could no. Listen, 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 listen. Well, I've seen your I, I've seen your bank statement, so I know. Because you're ignoring I know the it's fact going to happen. that I need to pay mortgage. Yes, on your mortgage, Monday. right? Which should have come There's from no the podcast. More money coming in. There's no more money coming in between now and then. Which you should have come, it, but it should have come from the podcast. It's not. Right, because I'm not getting paid this month because I have to travel to do an on location shoot. This guy is so manipulative. He has managed to move the story from uh, the money's at Mercy Hospital right now to, well, I have $2,500 of medical expenses at some point in the month to, 
Well, the reason I'm ending the month with $5,000 is because I'm such a great saver and I needed to pay my mortgage to know actually that mortgage was paid for too. See, he's catching on. I think the first time when he was dealing with Boogie, he got like, um, he got mollywhopped. He got like, he got bushwhacked. Big old, big old Boogie bushwhacked him. Came up there and uh, smacked him on his head. He was a little, he was a little frazzled, a little dazzled, didn't know what was going on. <laughs> it's, it's got a little fucked up. Because he kept hitting him with lie after lie. It's hard to keep track. There's so much bullshit coming out of his mouth, the smell is choking him. He's, he's getting a little, he's getting a little lightheaded. But now, now he's he's clued into this shit. He's keeping track of all the lies as he goes through. Starting to get a little pissed off. I don't blame him. Boogie's wasted an enormous amount of his time. Lying to him. Can you imagine how big of a liar you have to be? The balls you have to have to tell somebody a financial lie and then give them financial records that show you're lying and when they confront you about it, try to make it seem like they're the ones that made it up? The last point I want to address is the accusations he made against me on his show. He says he should have never taken a call with me. He says I recorded him without his consent, despite me telling him up front this was all going to be public and that I was approaching him for comment. This guy now acts like I tricked him. I should have never talked to CoffeeZilla to begin with. It was a joke, CoffeeZilla. Who told you that? Uh, of course you fucking did. Much less the second fucking time. Then in this, by the way, CoffeeZilla records you without telling you he records you. That's not Name true. a YouTuber told, does this. No, me. he did in the first time. In the first time. Well, I think it's worth showing you then how he talked about me behind the scenes when he spoke with me because it was very different. Get a load of this shit. Get a load of this shit. You know, when they talk about like, okay, get a little off track, but let's talk about, you know, bo 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 boogies personality a bit. You know, when you're dealing with somebody that's a manipulator, when you're dealing with somebody that uh, employs psychological warfare on you, like at a high level, like somebody that really is into that shit, they're going to do a lot of things. And I know we run into terms on the internet and they're associated with certain uh, different types of people. So we don't like to use them, but they apply and they work. So if I use the term gaslighting, you've probably heard that term so many times from a leftist or from uh, somebody with blue hair, you want to just disregard it. But gaslighting as a concept does make sense. Darvo as a concept does make sense. These are tools in a toolkit to fuck with somebody else's head. And Boogie employs these. He employs these subtly and sometimes blatantly. He uses them flippantly. He, it's become such a part of who he is, lying and manipulating that he, I, I'd almost be willing to say that he's maybe unaware he even does it because it's just become second nature to him. It's like a muscle memory. But what he likes to do, what I've noticed with CoffeeZilla and others, as you saw in this, is um, he will say whatever the fuck he wants to say publicly and then butter them up in private. Love bomb them, I think is the term. And then he'll do the Darvo thing where, you know, CoffeeZilla is basically saying, hey, you lied to me, made all this stuff up. And instead of taking responsibility, Boogie says, no, what the truth is, is I'm the actual victim and you, the person that are upset that I am lying to, you're the perpetrator. And guess what? You're the one that's lying. Or he gaslights them into thinking some made up bullshit that he has created is the actual definitive reality that everybody is living in. But this is a great example of what you're about to see of how Boogie um, fucks with people, makes himself a victim. Suicide baits people. You know, Keem even said on the fucking podcast, I don't know why I feel bad for you, but I do, because Keem's getting manipulated. CoffeeZilla, I think, is really clued into what's going on here after dealing with it for, you know, however long, a couple of weeks, whatever. Um, but Boogie attempts to love bomb him. After screaming at him and calling him all these names, talking shit in public, listen to this ass kissing. To what he's saying now. Now he's saying I'm taking him out of context, that he didn't know what was going on. Here's what he was saying back then. Amount of integrity. I really, really appreciate it. Hey, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, to be honest, it's I'm happy to do it. It's something that I really like people to know ahead of time. I mean, it's not yeah. I, I try to play a long game with YouTube. I'm not interested in like a quick video. Yeah. Like, who cares? Like, I'd rather, yeah. you know, you look better yeah. and it, you get it, your point across than. I, and it shows that you have the integrity that I believe you did. 110 percent it means it means so much many many youtubers would not have done that for me and you did and i think that's incredible 
And uh, I even, no matter what you have to say in this video, I'll never have a, a bad thing to say about you. Even on the show, I that you're like, even on the, the low cow podcast where my job is going to be to attack you back, I'm just not going to do it. I'm like, no, I think coffee was fair. Uh, I'll be genuine, okay? Okay, thanks, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Of course. All I, right. I really appreciate you. Thank you, man. Have a, great have a good night. That That's the end of the video, which is a great way to end it, by the way. So, Boogie, I'll never say a bad thing about you. I'll never attack you on the show. You're super genuine. You're helping me out. No other YouTuber would do this. You're such a great guy. You're what? Well, you're so fucking wonderful. Don't worry about it, man. I super appreciate it. Um, even if we disagree on this, you're just you're just the best of the best of the best. And then what does it turn into? You're lying. You're a lying liar. You're the biggest piece of shit ever. I won't attack you 20 minutes later. Yes, that's exactly what happened. 20 minutes later, here comes the bookster. He must do this to everybody. He has to do this to literally everybody. I cannot imagine that he is not out there doing this to quite literally every person on earth. $85,000 fucking dollars. And he refuses to do it. Eighty-five grand. Something's going on. I I get it. I think everybody is like standing on the precipice right now. Here's my here's my honest assessment. Okay, here it is. I think almost everybody believes he's lying about having cancer, and I think ninety five percent of them want to outright call him out on it. But I think one hundred percent of everybody, ninety nine percent of everybody, is terrified on the off chance that he really does have it. They will look like dicks for calling him out. Right? I think that's really what it is. And I think Boogie, who is a master manipulator and liar, fucking knows that. And he's going to play that to the best of his ability. And so when he's offered a chance to make 85 grand to show he's telling the truth, he's never going to do it. Because he can hold that over their head. Because that way, oh, Mudahar can't say mean things about me. Oh, Charlie can't say mean things about me. That motherfucking Jackson Clark. Boy, he went on about Jackson Clark. I had no idea who the hell that was until uh, until this fucking video. Now, a buddy of mine, whom I'm sure all of you have heard me talk about in the past, Jackson Clark. That's a name that lives in infamy in the mind of Boogie. Jackson Clark is Boogie's Boogie Man. He mentioned Jackson so many times unprompted in this podcast that the other hosts were left stunned wondering who the fuck is Jackson. <laughs> because Jackson has, for a long time now, been pushing back against a lot of what Boogie has said and done to his audience. And Jackson, a while back, did talk about the diagnosis on Twitter, and it has, I guess, weighed heavy on the psyche of Boogie. And he's not, uh, he's not joking. Uh, just to give you an idea, Jackson Clark got brought up maybe like fucking eight or nine times. I wasn't familiar with who that was. Nobody else was. But for some reason, the second people started to doubt or question Boogie's cancer diagnosis, he started going to a tailspin about this dude named Jackson Clark, who apparently has mind fucked him to such a degree that he lurks in the shadows of the Internet. Under every rock, Jackson Clark lives. Jackson Clark is under the bed and in the closet. He's hiding up on the rooftop. When Boogie's, when somebody whistles at him in the public or calls him a fat ass, if he looks around quick enough, that's that nefarious Jackson fucking Clark. <laughs> oh. So aside from Jackson Clark, who apparently is the one person that just outright called him on his shit, um, everybody else is really, really... They're, they're, they just, God, they don't want to unholster. They don't want to take that shot, right? They're really worried that he'll somehow come out and say, uh, you know, have some kind of proof. My point on this is, this doesn't make any fucking sense. Um, If you're in a dire financial straits and you're offered $85,000 to prove something that you know is true, and you get to make everybody who's giving you shit look bad, and you get to shit on people that you really dislike, and you get a bunch of sympathy, and it gets you a bunch of attention, and you're going to say no? But you will do the crypto scam for one-eighth the value that destroyed your reputation. So you won't fix your reputation. You'll walk away from all revenue sources and go homeless. You won't take the money that will secure your house and your future. And um, you won't shit on all your enemies. 
So you can say what exactly? What's the payoff to that? Oh, is there going to be a handwritten note at the funeral boogie that says, well, I may have died in a cardboard box in poverty eating baked beans out of a can, but at least Keemstar never saw that screenshot. I mean, really, wow, you know, whew. Jackson Clark doesn't get his satisfaction today, boys. Jackson Clark has been thwarted once and for all. <laughs> Just, holy shit, bro. What the fuck? Oh, we still have more to go through. We still have more to go through, but let's break it up with a little song. I prepared a little song with the help of uh, Luma and Suno to uh, celebrate. I know everybody in the audience wants to be a part of the sub club. Who doesn't want to be a part of the sub club? I want to be a part of the sub club. One for one for us and one for the hooker. So I got a little bookster banger. It's a little banger from Boogie himself from his new LP called I Robbed You All, Faking Cancer. <laughs> Faking Cancer, the hottest hits. So I hope you enjoy. Go ahead and grab a drink, take a piss. We'll be right back. One second, Chad. I know. Oh my God, Jim, show it on screen. Well, I've got to, I want to make sure we almost fucked up with Mark. We almost fucked up with Mark. So let's, let's see. Trump shooter. Just double check this. How did the shooter even get on the roof? I've been at several of the events, and there's no way anyone can get that close. Yeah, there's a lot of questions about what the fuck is going on with this. Yeah, there's video of him being dragged out, but nothing else. Oh, okay. Well, I think that might be the shooter. I can't show this on screen. Okay, listen, chat, there's no way I can show this picture on screen. Um, but if you go to Twitter, to the account of uh, Tara La Rosa, T-A-R-A-L-A-R-O-S-A, -A -A, um, there's a close-up headshot of, uh, yeah, he got fucking annihilated by a sniper. <laughs> it's not pretty. I'm going to guess this is the guy. Okay, so let's see if we got any information on who they are. Oh, yeah, they've got... They're, they're, okay, so footage is starting to come out. We're getting some fucking footage of him getting annihilated. Oh, what is going on here? Chat. I'm trying to find, like, a picture where his head is intact <laughs> so I can show it to you. Yeah, there are a couple different views. There are a couple different angles showing that he was set up on a rooftop uh, a little ways from the event to try to get, like, an angle on Trump. But the weird thing is we've got a guy on the rooftop. Okay, this is what I don't get. There are pictures floating around of a guy on a rooftop with his head blown off. But there's also pictures of Secret Service and uh, deputies arresting somebody in the crowd. So were there more than one person? Was this like two different people, one a distraction, the other the actual shooter? Is this going to be some like grassy knoll shit? I just don't get it. I mean, it's been, what, three hours, four hours since this happened? Five hours? How do we not have a definitive ID on who this is? Why isn't this everywhere right now? Am I missing it? Is this uh, put up somewhere that it's just not showing up for some reason? Oh, let me see. Let me. I'm reading through. Somebody's saying uh, the guy in the crowd. What was that? The guy in the crowd. Oh, the guy in the crowd was dead. Was that somebody that's... Okay, so the guy in the crowd that they were dragging out was somebody that got shot by the sniper? So an unintended victim, or maybe he intentionally fucking shot him. Yeah, this is... This is planned out. If this guy was set up on a rooftop at that angle on that building with... Yeah, this was... 
Fucking hell. God, I, I almost want to go see... I'm trying to look for... Here's the weird thing. I'm looking for, like, uh, you know, I want to see... What is, you know, what has Biden said about this? Again, we're taking a, a momentary break just to just to see the information. Uh, this is what Biden said two hours ago. I've been briefed on the shooting at Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania. I'm, gra- or I'm grateful to hear that he's safe and doing well. I'm praying for him and his family and for all those who are at the uh, rally. We await further information. Jill and I are grateful to the Secret Service for getting him to safety. There's no place for this kind of violence in America. We must unite as one nation to condemn it. <laughs> That's really weird. He's grateful to the Secret Service for getting him to safety. Wasn't there just a report we read at the start of the stream where Trump had asked for increased Secret Service uh, security detachment because of a risk, and they were denied, Biden's DHS denied them. It's almost like he's taunting him. Fucking hell. Yeah. Let's see. This is this is fucking weird. There should be there should be way more information on who the shooter is. Sorry, just give me a second as I dig through here. I'm trying to find a something good. Um, what I can tell you now is there are photos of people. It looks like the guy. He's on a separate building. His head is clean off. There's a video of a sniper or a counter sniper taking him out. But there's no like ID. There's no name. There's no, hey, yep, that is him. Oh, man, I I cannot wait to see the polling that's going to come out of this. All the shit that's been going on, it's just unreal. All right, well, that's your your, uh, up-to-the-minute Donald Trump update. Still no definitive ID on the shooter, but his picture's out there. It uh, looks like a white guy in his 20s, uh, completely annihilated, set up on a rooftop. A couple of videos uh, showing him up there, but it looks like uh, the videos that are there are ones of him after he got shot. I don't think there's been a video put up of him getting shot yet. Somebody said, I tweeted you a picture of him. All right, well, let me take a look. All right, this is who they're saying the shooter is? All right. Okay, give me a second here. Let's, uh, let me put it up in this thing. Uh, Because his head's not blown off in this, so I can show this. Uh, I can can neither confirm nor deny this is a shooter. Uh, Just so everybody's aware of that. But this is uh, one that's circulating around everywhere, in case you're curious as to who we're dealing with. Uh, This is alleged. The photo does match up with the one of the guy with his head blown off. I mean, this does look like the same dude. That would be, that would be your shooter. Allegedly. Again, allegedly. Just like we had, what was it, Mark earlier on? Turned out to be the Italian guy was not the shooter. So, allegedly. Are we getting Sam Hyde? I don't know. But this is a picture going around social media. Uh, This is the one that matches up with the dead guy on the rooftop outside the venue uh, that had an angle on the president. This isn't um, this isn't the guy from the crowd. This is the guy from the rooftop. <laughs> Did somebody in chat say, "Is that I Dubs"? <laughs> I don't know. Has <laughs> it reached that critical point? The I Dubs. You went from content cop to uh, 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 shooting at the POTUS. Is that what you're telling me? That's a rough fall. I see everybody's commenting on the chin. Yes, I've noticed the chin too. Yeah, a tr- chat, is that a truned out iDubs? Potentially, chat. It's a potentially a truned out iDubs. It's potentially what we're dealing with, yes. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh. 
Thank you very much for the picture, by the way. I like uh, somebody sent me somebody sent me Goatsy on Twitter. That was very nice of you, but I'm not live streaming fucking Twitter, so it's not gonna it's not gonna do anything. Oh no, 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 no! Felt it, Ralph. Is that that can't be true? How are we sure that's true? Somebody saying the shooter has been identified as a, a trainee that posted on the 4chan fashion board? Oh, no. No, no, no. Uh, I have to go check. Uh, breaking news. Fashionista goes on killing spree. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can pull this up. See if I can find this information. I'm just, I'm trying to see if that's true, if you're just uh, pulling that one out. My God, every single thread on poll is just a picture of Trump holding his fist up. This is the most God Emperor shit I've seen. You know, uh, poll really, really kind of turned on uh, Trump. <laughs> but boy, they are, they are fucking fully behind this shit. I guess watching a dude take a bullet and then walk it off is pretty fucking impressive. All right, let me see. Let me see if there's any information. Why do we not have a name or some kind of identifying feature or something going on here? <laughs> oh, God, there's so much that I wish I could share. I wish, God, I wish it was like older YouTube, you know, where you could you could put some stuff up, but you can't. Sorry, Chad. I know. Well, it's a more we're a little more relaxed right now as I dig through to try to find confirmation. Was this person posting on uh, fashion? Oh my God! What a, that would be? That would be something else. <laughs> I think I, I think I think they're fucking with me. Is what I think. Yeah. Again. Oh. oh. Oh, we got one here. What is this? Yeah, here's the, again, this is what I'm having trouble with. How the fuck do we not have a definitive name yet? How do we not have a name? How do we not have a name or more more footage or more anything in an event that, that, that has been broadcast this much? Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Lots of goatsies. Thank you all for the goatsies. Love seeing that spread asshole. That's always that's always good. Wakes you right up. Uh, the guy in the crowd was a victim? Okay. Yeah, I wondered why they were going for a guy in the crowd, but you couldn't really see what they were doing. But that makes sense if it was a victim. Yeah, this has to be. It ha I, You know, I'd go with it being the shooter, but I don't know... Can we get a name? Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll give it time. We'll give it time. We'll see what comes through for it. You know, we were going to jump into the boogie thing with Destiny. That's what we're going to do. Let me just get that queued up. And I will... Uh, What happened there? Oh, okay. Uh, like I said, uh, we'll, I'll get that queued up. Pull that down. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, when we get more breaking news on uh, who the fuck this guy is, uh, we'll definitely, definitely return with it here. For now, I, you know, I want you to put that out of your mind and give me a kiss, bitch. Oh, I can't return the money, bitch. No. Oh, well, give me a kiss, bitch. Oh, right in the mouth. Oh, put it right in there, bitch. Oh. God, it's nightmare fuel, isn't it? This is the future. This is <laughs> this is the future of technology. It's Ethan Ralph trying to French kiss you after he ate poop. Oh, what an eclectic little stream this is. <laughs> Just full of weird shit.
All right, let's get this Destiny clip going here. Oh, where are we? Okay. So Destiny did some research ahead of time. That's the beginning of the stream. Uh, you got to see, they broke it into three parts. He's talking to CoffeeZilla. He's doing a little bit of uh, investigation. We want to go to the part where he jumps on stream and he just spanks Boogie's ass. people ladies ladies and gentlemen uh a popular streamer by the name of destiny yeah i know uh you see how destiny is already like he's prepared to fuck him up he's come in he smells blood in the water he's got a pen and pad he's got his all his little notes written down and shit he's just ready to straight fuck him up where the fuck is our webcam at listen probably obs is using it Oh so, my god. Hold, hold on. on. We're turning the camera on. Uh, I have to delete you, it. You guys oh, literally yeah. ruined the intro. He gave no. you guys a big shout out. Can you just shut the fuck up? And then there's no shout camera. Out. So and negative. it's just your Say. voice and it's just fucking cringe. Everything about. There. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Do we have a camera? Uh, you know. How are you guys doing tonight? What's uh, what's going on? Yeah, how's it going? We can see you. You guys look fantastic. Turn it on. I mean, some of you. Don't at be least. so friendly. What's that? What's that? There hey! we are. Hey! Oh there we go. God. We're on. But not X. Okay, we don't need him. Don't worry about him. <laughs> yeah, you're not. You're, you can say whatever you want. And it's gonna be like we said it. <laughs> All right, are we good to go? Hold on. Yeah, go All ahead. Right. Okay. Good. Boogie two four eight eight. You are being confronted tonight. I am ninety nine percent sure Woo! that you are you are faking. No, don't move. I'll... You are faking your cancer diagnosis, Boogie. Okay, let's hear that. Let's hear that. Did the doctor ever tell you, or did he ever say the word cancer? He said polycythemia vera, which is a form of cancer, as he explained it to me. And no, it is not secondary polycythemia, polycythemia which is Nicholas Diorio's explanation for this bullshit. So I think it is secondary polycythemia. Um, can you explain? Well, why would he call it? Why would he call it polycythemia vera? Why would he tell me that I have hormone mar markers in my blood that tells me I have polycythemia vera? Why does he order a bone uh, marrow uh, biopsy to confirm it. Uh, well, if he ordered a bone marrow... Uh, see, that's the second time, by the way. Once on stream with Keem and me and everybody else, he had said that. He also says that when he's talking to Destiny, to confirm it. A b bone marrow biopsy to confirm it. It would be weird that you told us that you already had a diagnosis and a confirmation. If because it has the markers are in my blood. The hormone markers are in my blood. Correct. Destiny. But you said that you'd received the diagnosis, but now you just told me that you got a, a bone marrow biopsy to it's confirm. It's a diagnosis, and now we're confirming. Sure. It's called a confirmation. I, the, so, the hormone markers are already in my blood. Yep. So I think what and happened is, Boogie, based on everything... Biopsy yeah. Because I'm wanting to do that, because I'm praying to God I don't fucking have cancer. He doesn't I'm care. I'm praying to God I'm taking the one in a million fucking chance that they're fucking wrong, and that there's another <laughs> reason that I have the hormone, uh, the hormone fucking uh, imbalances in my blood. Yeah, why are you praying to God two years after you said that you have cancer that you don't have cancer? Because two <laughs> years ago... Because two years ago... They told me I have polycythemia vera based on the fact that I had increased uh, red blood cell counts, increased hemoglobin, and the hormone markers in my blood. And it all spelled pretty definitively that I have this. And so he wanted to get a bone marrow biopsy, but it is intrusive and expensive, so they decided to forego it. I would like to still get it done because I am hopeful. I am praying that there, uh, there's... You know, just a little... A little FYI on a bone marrow biopsies because, you know, I had one. Um, what he's like, oh, it's intrusive. And uh, basically, um, they lay you down on a table, right? Like on your side, if they, they're going to go into the, like, you know, the hip area. And if they do it in the sternum, I couldn't tell you. I know they can do it in the chest. That looks awful. But um, they take this giant fucking needle and then they, they just jam it in there. And it's the weirdest feeling. Um, but there is this weird sensation of pain. That you go through for about like five to ten seconds. It's horrible, uh, where they're like sucking stuff out, like fluid or whatever the fuck it is, um, and it's like indescribable. It's it, it's like you shouldn't be feeling something, but you are. But he's like, oh, it's interesting. But in actuality, yeah, it sucks. But it's over in like ten to twenty seconds. The actual procedure is so quick because they know it sucks. So they go in, they pop it in, suck the stuff out, pull the needle out, and and you're good. So I don't know what he means by it. it's all. Oh, it's so tragically, in, in, you know, intrusive, invasive. Oh my God, not really. 
it sucks, but it's not like it's not like the end of the world. It's a fucking merciful God of the world that would be willing to fucking let this be wrong, even though it most certainly is not. So why are you talking about expensive cancer treatments if they don't even know if you have cancer? That nothing has been confirmed because yet. It's been two years. they're treating it, dipshit. They're not, how they've they been tre treating it for two fucking years. How are they treating it, Boogie? Blood test, blood thinners, bloodletting, medications. Blood they're mm -hmm. trying to get my weight Correct. down. Yes. I'm seeing the doctor every three fucking months. I'm doing blood tests mm -hmm. every fucking month. We're we're doing it. We're uh, yeah. So they don't so know if you have cancer or not. So like, can I understand? hold my fucking hand? Well, sure. So I mean, I can explain. So I can explain. Hold, so I can explain everything, right? So right. Boogie has a condition right called polycythemia, which uh, means there's an elevation in his polycythemia vera. No, polycythemia vera. Fuck you, fat fuck. I want to hear from a guy who actually knows something. Polycythemia vera. Yes, I more about my fucking medical yes, diagnosis yes, than I do. I hear it. Well, he's, right he, the fuck ahead. I was in the fucking room. My girlfriend was in the fucking room. And they told me, so go you right are the fuck ahead, Destiny. Go right the you fuck ahead. Be nice. Be nice, okay, Boogie. Yeah, I will go ahead. Do you notice how angry he's getting? Look at it. Look at him sipping on his little sippy cup. Oh, the BBC giving her the real fucking she deserves, Destiny. Arr, BBC. It's like his, it's his little comfort. I wonder, is that a tick? Is that a tick for Boogie? If we discovered a tick, if you ever play poker with Boogie, make sure you give him a giant fucking uh, uh, a drink with a, a straw because he'll be sucking and playing with that thing when he gets real angry. Also, you can hear the disdain and the anger in his voice. He is not a happy camper right now. Kind of reminds me of when he was going off on coffee. He's, he's a little upset. He's a little, he's a little bit upset right now. Okay, so I think that Boogie was told that he has polycythemia, which means he has an elevation of his red blood cells. Now, there is a cancer known as polycythemia vera, which is caused by a mutation in some part of your body that causes an elevation of three different levels of things that you'll find. One of those is uh, the red blood cell count. Um, however, when Boogie was talking about the polycythemia, he mentioned a couple things that I thought were interesting. The first was that taking an exogenous, uh, an exogenous hormone Hormone, TRT, testosterone, that that caused a increase in him developing this condition. So taking uh, taking testosterone will not cause you to develop a cancer. That is that, that for not for this particular cancer. It won't. It will cause you to develop secondary polycythemia. And the second thing that he mentioned was that his doctor ordered a sleep study. That's because one of the things that can cause your body to produce more red blood cells is if you have hypoxemia, which is an, a lower count of or a low amount of oxygen in your blood for an extended period of time. And the reason why he ordered mm -hmm. that sleep study is probably because Boogie either has uh, either uh, pulmonary obstructive uh, something or he has, as he mentioned, sleep apnea and sleep apnea which is a decrease in oxygen overnight can lead to a decrease in oxygen in your blood which can lead to an increase in the production of red blood cells all of the things that boogie described both the things that caused this and the treatments for it are consistent with secondary polycythemia um, none of these yeah. are consistent with cancer and the fact that he's saying that he's they've now ordered a biopsy Correct. two years yes, after he oh, wait, wait two years after wait, 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 let me just finish real quick real quick two years ago you said that you had a cancer diagnosis, but now you've just said now they're doing a biopsy to check for cancer. Confirmation. 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 Is this house MD? Are we treating? Are we treating a blood cancer without actually show. confirming it yet? For two years, you've been being, you've been having a cancer treatment without confirming there's actually cancer there. Because it was in my blood markers, and that's pretty goddamn definitive. You can Stop. Google that, Destiny. <laughs> when you, when you, know. you have the hormones, when you have the hormone in the blood that is produced by this cancer, it's pretty goddamn definitive. It doesn't show up for just the shit sakes of it. Can I can I can I say something real quick? Yes. Look, you have all you have you have all, you you won't keep saying you're the patient. You know what you have your body. Uh, Destiny kind of lit his ass on fire there. Oh, he's fired up. Our little our little boy here. Our little Destiny got on the stepping stool and just took a swing at the bookstore. Oh, fuck. He's like, let me tell you this, fat boy. Okay, lard ass. I've, I've read the Wikipedia articles. I've read the white papers. And I think you're full of shit. And here's the reasons why. Boogie did not like that. <laughs> Boogie is a little angry. Body has... Yes. But doc, when I go to the doctor, they give me shit like this, yep. which is like papers. Because I was going to say, Boogie can have this whole thing. Exactly show me a single diagnosis. document with polycythemia vera on it. You don't have one. I don't think the doctor ever diagnosed you with it. And right. I... Can I ask you some Destiny? Is it possible that when the doctor was seeing him, they were asking you could have this, you could have polycythemia?
polycythemia, if I'm saying it correctly, or polycythemia vera, but you like don't have the cancer oh, version, you have this version. Correct. There so is, is own polycythemia. I'm there asking him, I'm asking him. Is, is it, it could be like a, a loss of translation type situation? Yeah, yeah. So no. polycythemia just means you have an elevation of red blood cells. That's all that means. Your red blood okay. cell count is high. And so I think you can be fat and sleep apnea can create that. that. Sleep apnea could do it. Yeah, anything yeah, 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 like yeah, that could cause it. And the fact that Boogie said, we knew that when I was taking TRT, this was a risk of that. That means that that risk is to develop secondary polycythemia. That was the risk, and then that is what ended up happening, unfortunately. But it's not cancer. That was induced because of just a low oxygenation of the blood. So where, why, explain to me, Destiny, why there are markers, hormone markers in my blood that have tested positively for posi polycythemia vera. If there was, shit. then he wouldn't Just have... Just look at one of your medical papers, dude. Yeah, I'm never showing any of these motherfuckers my medical papers. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I, I said that two it. years ago, and I'm staying by it now. Destiny, Jackson, Clark, Team Star, you can see it when I fucking... Oh, there's our boy again. The mysterious Jackson Clark in the shadows. Oh, Jackson Clark makes another fucking appearance. Die. It's my fucking it's goddamn right medical record. I've like given you, you every goddamn phone call. call. I've given you every fucking text. I've given you... It's never made a single goddamn thing better. I'm not going to fucking do it. Go fuck yourselves. You could Go easily end yourself. this right now by just showing... I would rather you, you motherfuckers... I would rather you motherfuckers mm. continue to LARP. I would rather you motherfuckers continue to LARP. Okay, well, no, no, no here's, a, here's an easy question. The last goddamn thing. Uh -huh. The last goddamn you're the one, thing. You're the, the one last piece the of LARPing. fucking security I have in the fucking world. So the, so the, the easy, the, the the easy thing here is if there are blood markers that definitively confirm polycythemia vera as a blood cancer, then why are they doing a biopsy? Because Ooh. I'm insisting on it. Because Drop I'm the microphone. No, no, wait. Why would you have to insist on a biopsy if you can confirm with a uh, with, with blood markers? It's because you can't. Because I'm hoping that I are wrong. Because if you're hoping, hoping they're, they're wrong, wrong, then why two years ago were you talking about fighting cancer? Why would you be talking about like... I have been for two years. Fighting Destiny. cancer how? With been, what? With listen, blood thinners? Oh, this one's for you, Boogie. Because... <laughs> I, oh, God damn it. <laughs> because you. you treat polycythemia vera almost identically to the way that you treat polycythemia. Because you can't Drop attack the camp. cancer directly. All you can do is treat the symptoms, and the symptoms are ident identical to polycythemia because it's the same fucking thing with the exception of one's getting caused by an external source and the other's being caused by fucking cancer. And in this case, it's getting caused by fucking cancer, Destiny. So I do think there are different treatments available for polycythemia vera, um, and I think that the outcomes for that are significantly worse than just having it induced by some other thing like sleep apnea or hypoxia. But I mean, if you, to, if you wanted to... if you The treatment to... plan is pretty identical. Yeah, the so, treatment plan is pretty identical. So if there were, there are two huge things. So one, you could show it to a private party and they could confirm somebody like Keemstar. But two, the issue is that if you want to keep your medical issues to yourself, I think everybody is entitled to that right, obviously. But if you're going to come out... I should have out... never talked about it to begin with. I should have never talked about it to begin mm. with. Well, hold on. This, this, or, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, 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 hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Hold on. This is one of the reasons I was going to do a GoFundMe was because they verify for the record. Do you see how... Here's one of the interesting things. Like, I... I uh you know, debated with Destiny uh, a couple times in the past. I was on streams with him. He loves, like, pill pull stuff. He likes the debate bro shit. Um, <laughs> but have you noticed that, like, everybody that talks to Boogie gets worn down? Do you see that, like, like that stress sigh that Destiny gave out? Look at his face. Like, CoffeeZilla, Destiny Keemstar, uh, even myself, uh, Ralph when he was on Ralph's show. Like, everybody reaches that point where it's just like, oh, fuck. You know what I mean? It's just so draining. <laughs> it's what is that what is that show about vampires what we do in the dark there's the energy vampire that's boogie like he just sucks it out of you man he just fucking drains you they verify they verify so I, I, that would be the third party that I would yeah so gofundme does not do the best verification as has been proven multiple times in the past um but the issue is that you say that you you wouldn't have you shouldn't have talked about it but the fact is is that you did you did the day that you got the That's diagnosis you were like well i was considering doing this but i just got my diagnosis today so no, you, were you did it instantly it for a while i sat on it for a while wait I on your on tweet did you not say that i got my diagnosis today and then talk about it <laughs> I, they told me the, okay they told me in the office that they were worried about it then they did the blood tests. Then, yes, I did tweet about it on the day that I got confirmation. But I sat on it for a couple of months before, uh, or for a couple of weeks before talking about it because it took a while for it, us to get the blood results. So you sat on it when I'm, you didn't know the answer? That's not called sitting on it. That's just called waiting for an answer. 
Also, if you were so if you were so keen on diagnosing whether you had cancer or not, why would you why would you wait two years to get the biopsy? I don't know if you've ever followed my Twitter before, but I tend to tweet shit as it happens. This one I saw it's real time news, motherfucker. I don't understand why you're waiting. I don't understand why you wait two years. Solid cancer diagnosis. Cancer is pretty fucking serious. There is no cancer. Cancer is pretty fucking It's secondary polycythemia. There is no cancer here. There's no proof of it. You can't show anybody proof of it because it's not real. And yeah, I don't know. As somebody that like his mom. You know what I'm curious about? I want to check something. Because it's one of the other things that Boogie said, and I don't know. So I want to double check. So let's see. Okay. Oh, this is from, oh, uh, it's Australia, though. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, do you remember when Boogie said that it was uh, too intrusive and costly for him to do a bone marrow biopsy? Like, just a simple Google search. Like, okay, what does a bone marrow biopsy cost if you had zero insurance at all? Which, Boogie does have insurance, but if you had absolutely no insurance and had to pay out of pocket, what's the price range on that? Uh, the cost of a bone marrow biopsy ranges anywhere from $1,600 to $2,000. Uh, while if you were to do a, a bone marrow transplant, it could be more. I don't... See, this is what confuses me. Because I know he's got that kind of money. We know he has that. I mean, fuck, he's just... He's, <laughs> he scam people. And he was making that kind of money just off of fucking Lolco. He was making that money just off of fucking YouTube. This isn't like, a, I know that like uh, some people, if you go in for like imaging, imaging can cost you a lot of money. The reason imaging costs you a lot of money is the hospital or the clinic or whoever has the imaging equipment has to pay for the machine. And the machine is millions of fucking dollars. So they divide the cost of that up between every patient. That's why a fucking CAT scan or a CTA or MRI or MRA or a PET scan or whatever the fuck you're getting can be a ridiculous amount of money. It could be 5000 bucks, 6000 bucks. But that's not the same with, I guess, a bone marrow uh, biopsy where they're literally sticking a needle, just a basic bitch, big ass needle into you, and then sending it off to get stained and slide, you know, uh, on a slide or whatever. I don't know. that uh, His story, uh, his story is not good. But let's continue watching Destiny tear him apart. <laughs> Mom had cancer. I, it's just a little bit gross, I feel like, when people are talking publicly about fighting cancer. Who and is stuff. the person that faked cancer before, the chick? You know who I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. Uh, only had cancer once. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a vintage meme. No, that's that's a vintage. Wasn't See, it Emily from RuneScape or something? There's so many people that don't know that meme right now. Yeah. Can, can I ask Boogie, is it possible that you just jumped the gun on um, releasing your diagnosis thing? No. You don't think you jumped the gun a little bit? <laughs> Anything is possible, <laughs> sure. I, I just don't understand why you won't just go grab a piece of paper and just disprove them. Because like, I don't have, have all these feelings. feelings. They have, they he has have nothing with those words on it. Number two, and like I said a year ago, when these motherfuckers tried to hold, get it to begin hold with, up, hold this up. is the this one is, last thing I have excuse, left. The motherfuckers were in my marriage. You guys were in everything else. You are in every aspect of my life. Fuck you. Let me have one goddamn... See, I don't know. I don't buy this. This this argument's bullshit to me. You put out everything about your life boogie you made the decision you made the decision you've done even outside of mike clum's documentary every single thing that has ever affected you positively or negatively you have run to the internet to share it weight loss teeth molestation abuse a marriage falling apart your divorce financial difficulties and now an illness you made the choice to introduce those into the public discussion into the public arena you can't get upset then afterwards that it gets talked about. You can get annoyed and perturbed and then show people that you're telling the truth by providing some simple documentation. Like, I made the choice when I got sick with cancer when shit went wrong for me to talk about it. Now it's in the public discourse. And after uh, hearing, uh, uh, how about Dayton, Ohio, Mersh, go on for years saying I was faking it, all I had to do was show a piece of paper. Now, granted, I found it amusing <laughs> that he kept going on about it, but eventually it just got annoying. But, Boogie, if you have this information, if you've got this, you know, this this golden bullet that will end it, you know, make Destiny apologize, and, uh, you know, he tried pulling this shit on, um, 
the podcast where he's like, Mudahar won't pay me. He's a liar. Destiny would never apologize. I don't believe that for a second. I think if Boogie pulled out the paperwork and it showed that he had cancer, <clears throat> uh, Destiny absolutely would apologize. I believe that. And I believe that Mudahar would absolutely have paid the money he promised to pay if he put it up. I have no reason to doubt either of those guys. But you put everything in a public discourse, every aspect of your life, and then you want to act like, oh, no, this is a sacred thing that, I, that can't be talked about, even though you've talked about it a lot. You've talked about it quite a bit. And you've used it as reasonings for actions you've taken uh, that have fucked over other people, namely in the crypto scam. And CoffeeZilla confronts you on that, and then you get angry with him and start yelling at him. Just like you're yelling at Destiny and yelling at Tommy and yelling at fucking Wings and everybody else. So no, you don't get to pull the, this is the private bit. There is no private bit. You stripped away the privacy of it when you made it a central part of your online activities for two years. What you trying to tell me is I have cancer. I'm going to have to tomorrow. That's everybody. Weed. Boogie lies about cancer than to hand this shit over to you pieces of shit. That's, How that's about just, this? I'd rather can do you that. Get, I'd rather can you get access? Go ahead, Boogie, print it, Dick Boogie, Turtle. Go ahead and print it. Can you get your patient portal up on your phone and like send sure. it to Tommy? And I'm not going to. He's, ne he's sure, never doing that. He does not, not have a cancer diagnosis. There is zero percent chance that he has one. Every remember, every leading thing for this cancer diagnosis the doctor talked about has to do with secondary polycythemia. Mm. The sleep apnea was a contributor to that, and the TRT oh, was a contributor to that. Oh, except for the hormone markers in my blood. Except for yeah, but if you had hormone blood. markers for it, that's either a definitive diagnosis, in which case you wouldn't yes. be getting a biopsy two years later, or it wasn't definitive, and you would get an, you would have gotten a biopsy two years later instead of saying they're treating you for cancer for two years. You just said before that you don't, right. don't have the money for extra medical stuff. If they don't need that test to confirm cancer, well, why just, would you spend extra about, money on a biopsy that you don't need? I don't know if you heard of this, Destiny. I just got a bit of a windfall. Ooh. Might have heard about it. Yeah, you may have Might heard, have heard, heard of it. it. We have, What's yes, that? We, he, What's the he did a ten thousand dollar crypto scam, uh, yeah. using partly yeah. his uh, cancer thing as an excuse for why he needed to scam his fans. Um, but I, I just wanted to, I, I want to, <laughs> I want to join real quick that because like... you just got caught lying to, uh, about me sure. to call oh, yeah. Seems like a lot of sure, right. to go through. And no, now, okay. now, and now I you're being confronted. And now you're being confronted on one of the biggest lies on internet history. And you won't prove it. No. You won't no, prove it. I'd rather if, you go ahead and print it. Print if it. this is true, ahead, if this it. is true, and you lie go about ahead, cancer, this is the biggest scandal on the f internet. And it's not, but go ahead and print it anyway. Scandal. Go ahead and prove print it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty much prove it. None of you motherfuckers. Fucking I said this prove two it. Years ago, and I'm not doing it today. Go right ahead. Print it. Print it the way it is. Go right ahead. <coughs> print it. Run it. I'm okay. okay with that. So I guess just to wrap up because we don't want to take all you guys' time tonight. So just as a couple things, right? So the story as laid out. If you look up secondary polycythemia versus polycythemia vera, all of the leading things that Boogie talks about leading to his condition are consistent with secondary polycythemia, not the mutation that would cause polycythemia vera. The things that Boogie says that his doctor wants him to check for afterwards, like doing a sleep study, are consistent with secondary polycythemia, not primary polycythemia, and the fact that he says, I'm almost done. The fact that he says that he had the blood markers or something to confirm it two years ago, but is now getting a biopsy for secondary confirmation, even though he says he doesn't have the money for medical bills, but I guess now that he does have money, he's going to waste all of it on biopsying things that are already confirmed, or at least confirmed enough, that he wanted to talk about it publicly for two years ago, and then use it to fundraise the money that he now has so that he can do the biopsy that I don't even think he's doing, by the way. I don't think he's actually doing that biopsy. I think that's a lie as well. And if he wanted to describe if you wanted to disprove it, all he has to do is show a private party this let particular me, medical me, thing, and uh, yeah, and it would be. And never that's will. also fraud. Just, that's just fraud. To summarize, to summarize, Jesse, you're basically saying he's kind of unlucky. He doesn't have cancer. Um, I mean, for this particular case, yeah. I mean, if he wants, here, I'll do this. If, if Boogie can confirm, that he, if Boogie can confirm that he has polycythemia vera, um, and he actually oh. has like a doctor confirmation of the blood cancer, I'll throw five thousand dollars towards his medical treatment. I'll make that personal pledge right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not seeing my medical records for 20, not for 50. You're not seeing my medical records. Five grand. I said this. I said this. I don't get it. You leave your own medical history, but you won't. You won't leave your own history. Just remember. Okay, so then I just want people to remember in the future then, when Boogie says, I have to do XYZ scam to raise money because my medical bills are hurting so much, he's going to speak publicly about that and say, I have to do XYZ scam to raise money because my medical bills are hurting so much, he's going to speak publicly about his medical issues to scam his fans to raise money, but he can't take $5,000 to privately confirm a diagnosis that he already publicly stated. Come on, Boogie. 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 Come on, even I have a fucking limit. What's the limit, though? It's yeah, it's I, I mean, I think you can probably I'm understand that he, uh, you know, there's a, a big history of people, I guess, scamming people with cancer, and it's like the worst of the worst.
Yeah, and this is uh, another thing I don't get. I, I've been pretty clear about this. You know, when I did my little, uh, I'm done on the internet stream because uh, my health has gone to shit, right? And uh, my health has gone to shit. It's gone uh, downhill. Uh, but one of the motivations I have for streaming is I want to try to set up my wife to be as comfortable as she can be. I, you know, the thought of putting me in the dirt and then she's got to worry about, oh, the fucking furnace doesn't work or, oh, there's some fucking issue with uh, the house or there's some fucking issue with this. I want everything set up so she has nothing to worry about. That's my motivation. And Boogie tries to present himself in a somewhat similar manner. That he wants to have things, you know, set up and under control for his, I don't know if she's his girlfriend or fiance, Desi, whatever it is. Um, so I do streams and, uh, you know, uh, they're on different subjects, whatever. I sell hats and uh, they're super chats, that kind of shit. He's getting an opportunity to get 85 grand, right? $85,000. The amount of things he could do to set up and to make sure that she's taken care of, if that's his priority if he's got a similar mindset to what I have, I can't, I can't imagine not taking that. To me, that doesn't make sense. Uh, to me, it doesn't make sense that you would walk away from that kind of a windfall. I mean, am I alone in this chat? Cause it doesn't make any fucking sense to myself. He has an opportunity to make sure that she doesn't have to worry about a mortgage or about food or about, you know, the electric bill or the car or home repairs or any of that shit. She'd be set. You know, if this is something that he's worried is going to wipe him out, it's going to take him out with his other conditions, and it's going to knock him down. And on top of that, he gets to prove everybody that ever doubted him to be the biggest assholes. Doesn't make sense. I'm literally here streaming to you with broken ribs. <laughs> I'm streaming to you with broken fucking ribs on painkillers with ice packs. Uh, one, because this does actually interest me, but two, because I want to sell some fucking hats. I, I, you know, generally it's laughing at retards to sell hats. This just happened to kind of weirdly align with my own personal situation, but it seems to have weirdly aligned with a lot of people's personal situations. You know, Wings mentioned, um, I think he said his wife had to deal with thyroid cancer. I think Destiny said something about his mom having to deal with cancer. It touched a raw nerve, I think, with a lot of people. The idea that this guy's out there hustling and using this as an excuse to get money uh, is really distasteful. And it makes it more uh, believable that he's full of shit that he won't take 85 grand to show one person one single scrap of uh, information confirming this. I mean, uh, there's nothing that that diagnosis uh, would have in it that will, you know, divulge private information that it would be uh, negative to him. It's not like it's asking uh, where his doctor works or what health network he's in or what medical insurance he goes through or how much his procedure costs. It literally just says, yeah, you've got cancer. Sorry. Well, not not that exactly, but basically. And then he walks away with 85 grand and apologies from all these people, but he won't do it. Yeah, that just smells like bullshit. Now, everybody may end up eating crow. He could come out. He could come out tomorrow. And show everybody that he does have cancer. You could have his doctor show up on screen and tap dance with the paperwork in his hands and be like, I told you. But he would still be the biggest idiot on the fucking face of the earth because he walked away from $85,000 by waiting to do that. And it makes no fucking sense. So that brings us to our poll, chat. Our Blue's Clues poll. Let me get this set up here. So what's the real story? Has cancer and is an idiot. <laughs> uh, jumped the gun. Got, you know, too excited. He jumped the gun. Or um, terrible person. Outright lying. I'm going to put up the Blue's Clues music. I'm going to put up the, the poll here. And I'm going to let you vote. And we're going to Blue's Clues our ways. So can I find the remix here? Such a good remix. Of course I can. I think this is the right one. This video has so many stupid views on it now because I've used it so many times. By the way, anybody that's ever looking for it, it's the Blue's Clues. That's the first clue. Remix. Remix. Manny, er, Maniacs. If you ever want to go trying to find it, by the way. Uh, okay. Let me start up. 
We'll take a small break. We'll do a five-minute break. I'm going to let everybody vote here. And then we're going to come back and we're going to see what the uh, what the general public thinks after listening to bits and pieces, after watching the last three to four weeks transpire, after watching Destiny eviscerate him, unmercifully eviscerate him. So where is this? Poll option. Okay. Start poll. Poll is a go. The poll is a go. Put the little pudding up. I'm going to go grab a drink. I'll be right back. Put up some music here, too. Oh, boy. Oh, it's time to look at the results, folks. All right, let me get a little pudding off here. Get the break off here. Let's see what we got. So after five minutes, 6,000, roughly 6,000 votes. Here's the breakdown. I'll pull this up so we got it fully in view. Oh, my little pudding, is he still going? There we go. The little pudding's gone. Uh, here are the final results. 66% terrible person outright lying. Second place, distant second place. 29% jumped the gun. And 5% believe he has cancer and is, in fact, an idiot. <laughs> he is, in fact, 250 people, Boogie. Well, 300 people. 300 people, Boogie, think that you're just really fucking stupid. The other 5,700 believe that you're a lying sack of pig shit that uh, is taking advantage of everybody. Is taking advantage of everybody in a really reprehensible fucking way. Is that, is that fair, chat? Am I being fair in my uh, prognostication? <laughs> my diagnosis. I know I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't pull a destiny there, where I got my little notepad out. God, I should. I should hire Destiny. Destiny, can you figure out what's going on with me? Can we get Destiny to Doctor House me? Destiny, if I sent you my medical records, will you do your little Wikipedia shit and figure out what the fuck is going on? Oh, let me end the poll. There we go. Maybe, maybe I've been doing this wrong. Going to Mayo and shit. I should have I should have contacted fucking Destiny and been like, you need to solve this. <laughs> I saw the work you did with Boogie. Can you fucking solve this for me? I'd forever be grateful. Oh my god. I might even I might even vote for one of your political candidates, Destiny. I'll elect a communist if you can figure this out. <laughs> How's that for an offer? Oh my god. Let me pull up a few things here. A little bits and pieces, as we're talking about Boogie. You know, Boogie's got an extensive history. There's a lot going on with our, our little Boogie boy here. Uh, and it's hard to keep track of some of it sometimes, because he does so much shit. He lies so much, he gets involved in so many shenanigans. And it would be nice if there were, like, a, a little video hub that you could go to uh, to get to get the informa or information that you need. Uh, like with uh, our other our other favorite boy... Patrick Tomlinson, there was Cryptic Web Chronicles, somebody that uh, basically documents all the crazy things that he does, really stays on top of it, great videos. I know some people have an issue with the AI, but I don't, uh, but it's good nonetheless. But is there a resource I hear you saying? Is there a resource that we can use to watch and learn more about uh, Boogie? Is there something out there that we could, could sit down, a playlist perhaps that may exist somewhere on the internet, uh, that would really help to explain uh, why Boogie is such a fucking uh, retard. <laughs> why such a problem? Uh, yes, yes, this is just me stalling to get everything pulled up on screen. Let me pull this up on screen. Let me let me do a shout-out here, because it always ends up well for me. Every, you know, I've noticed every time I go on a show or shout-out somebody, it's like a year later, they hate me, so whatever. Start the clock. Let's talk about this. This uh, YouTube content creator by the name of Saturated Content has been following the bookster for a while and has a very large playlist of all his fuck-ups going back over a year, covering all the high points in depth, going over the details you may be interested in, things you might never have heard of, bring up those details in a funny and entertaining way. And that playlist is called, I like the fucking picture, feel bad for me. <laughs> uh, the playlist is called Verified Tesla Owner. Again, the YouTube channel is Saturated Content. A-S-T-U-R-A-T-E-D-C-O-N-T-E-N-T -E -E in the playlist, Verified Tesla Owner. And there's all bunch of all bunch of boogie videos on there. There is boogie lore I was completely unaware of because I really don't pay that much attention to them outside of the uh, give her the real fucking videos or the, you know, welcome to the sub club stuff. Knew a little bit about Tesla, a little bit about the subreddit, uh, some of his uh, deceptions here and there, but holy shit. It's like a, a cornucopia 
It's a it's a a buffet of the bookster. It's a it's quite a lot of shit. And uh, if you've got time to kill videos, uh, if you add them all up time wise, you're looking at I don't know, ten to twenty hours of boogie content. So again, saturated content, verified Tesla owner. For those of you looking to get a better a better grip of what's going on. The lore causes illness. It's a potential possibility. The, the yeah, and watch Andrew uh, Ditch or Andy Ditch. Jesus Christ, those videos were fucking holy fuck. Holy fuck. Uh, the Andy uh, Andy Ditch stuff was uh, whew, was a little bit a little bit much. That's a uh, a dude that likes to live in diapers. By the way, in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> But I wanted to leave you with something to watch. I, I was planning on going a little longer than this, but uh, like I said, my, my, my ribs are kind of acting up, but I have to read through Super Chats because I don't like to ignore those. For anybody that's sent anything through uh, Cash App or Ko-Fi, I will read through them. Uh, but I wanted to cover the follow-up to this. Um, and sum it up as this. I mean, I, I think I've said this consistently now throughout the stream. I think it's pretty fucking clear. Um there's no sensible reason on God's green earth that Boogie would refuse to take $85,000 to prove he has the disease he has when he gets to shit over the people that um, he hates. And it's clear he hates them because uh, he gets very standoffish and mad when they question him. If you're in dire financial straits, either because of illness or just you're bad with money, um, and you have a chance at getting eighty five grand, you are going to take that money. Uh, there's no conceivable reason for him to say no. Uh, why he wouldn't do it, I couldn't tell you. Is it possible he has cancer? Sure. Could he come out tomorrow and prove he has cancer? Sure. But he'll still be the biggest idiot on God's green earth for not taking that money when he could have. But my gut feeling tells me there's something fucky going on here. Uh, we saw the poll results. It seems like the audience agrees. You saw what a majority of people have been watching this take place now for the last month have thought. That there's just something off about what's going on. It just it doesn't make sense. But you can't build yourself up as a you know, semi-public figure and share every detail of your life on the internet and then, I guess, act offended or, or find it weird uh, that people are pushing for more information. Um, especially when you weave this into being a part of everything. Like, it's, it'd be one thing if it was just like you were a dude that did videos and you got cancer and that was the one private thing you talked about a little bit and then that was it. I think more people would be like, okay, whatever. He's more of a private person. But it's like everything you do, Boogie, is public. Everything you do is something that you put out there for people to ingest. And it's built into all the shows and the videos you do. You know, any, any aspect of your life becomes part of the show. So now this has become part of the show because you've got people like Destiny and others that doubt that you're telling the truth. And rather than face that head on, send a screen cap to fucking, I don't know, Coffeezilla. <laughs> Because it seems to me like he's somebody that wouldn't, you know, want to go to jail for violating HIPAA. I don't think uh, fucking uh, Keemstar would either. I don't think they're going to share your personal shit, even if it is just a screen cap of a diagnosis. But you wouldn't even do that. I mean, fuck me. Even Monday Matt showed his fucking flag history. But, like, this is the hill that you just you, you want to die on. This is the line that you don't want to cross. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's hard for me to take you seriously when you say you want to set up, a, a, you know, a nest egg or whatever for... Um, uh, the girl, uh, Desi, whatever it is, your girlfriend or fiance, whatever she is, that you want to set up a nest egg for, um, but then you're unwilling to do this. Because $85,000, that is a lot of money. That's problem-solving money. That's mortgage-solving money. That's uh, We've got years of t a breathing room sort of money. If you live frugally, if you're an idiot, it wouldn't last you. But if you're a normal person, that should last you like two or three years. So... It makes zero sense to me. I'm just a confused, confused old man over here that's unsure of what the fuck it is you're doing. But I just don't buy it. I think there's there's something else going on. If that's you faking it, that's you faking it. If that's you jumping the gun, that's you jumping the gun. But uh, it's a bad look, and I don't know why you'd willingly take it on. It makes no sense also to just walk away from every single revenue stream you have that's not teaching anybody any lessons. Nobody's going to remember you did that. 
Like, if you drop dead two years from now because you really have cancer, everybody's going to say, oh, wasn't that the idiot that didn't take the $85,000 and ended up homeless? Wow, he was fucking stupid. Nobody's going to be like, what a valiant sacrifice he made. I mean, what is she going to do? Build a house out of fucking magic cards? Oh, I use the green ones for the roof, and uh, all the white cards are my, my uh, you know, uh, basement. Because they're so, they're so sturdy. I use Sarah Angels to enforce my stairs. Oh, the counter spells for my washing machine so it doesn't flood. Like, what, what, what is that future looking like? The only reason I can think of that you wouldn't take the money is that you know you're going to... You, you can't, essentially. You know you're unable to. <laughs> because you've, you, uh, you did a no-no. Terrible shameful let me uh 